Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Good morning, good morning. Uh, welcome to Sewing Street. Lovely to be back with you. I was just saying to Cara this morning, I feel like I've not been here for ages and ages and ages. Um, so it's really, really nice to be back. It's been such an eventful morning already um, because Elliot's been in. It's lovely Amy, his girlfriend's birthday today. Big birthday! Amy, a huge happy birthday. So Elliot, he's literally such a dream boat. He's come in and he's got um, her big balloons. Alison Marion's made her an amazing Does she cake. know yet? I don't know this one, <laughs> whispering. Um, so this is another surprise, which you'll hear about in a minute. You're talking in your mic's live. Oh no. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah, they're off to the Royal Albert Hall tonight to go and watch that sleigh. So Elliot's absolutely spoiling her. So we've seen them this morning. First time I've had Charlie and my which is really really exciting we've also got Cara Ackerman here and we promised that we'd start the show with something a bit different so as always we're starting today with an early bird special an amazing price but also whenever I talk about this product I always talk about my producer Kat now she's like the stig on Top Gear that you never see a face or like the masked singer and now we're finally well those of you who haven't seen or met Kat before Kat is normally obviously producing in my ear and you're here good morning the early bird Yay. I'm not the early bird I'm good thank you how are you I'm good Good, good, nervous, good. but fine. No, don't be nervous. I mean, this is something that you've uh, you've used uh, yep. the clover the clover um, dome threaded needle case you've used for years. Haven't yeah. You? So this is my personal one from home. I don't know where the thing is. So I've brought mine along with me today, 
Um, we had this in a few months ago when we were doing a week of manager specials and things like that. And um, I said, I want this because I think it's fantastic and I don't think we talk about it enough or demonstrate yeah. it enough. And Hayley said, okay, if you want it, you can go on air and demo it. <laughs> so I did. Um, and it was fantastic. And we made sure we went to a brilliant price, which we will, we will be matching today. Um, but then I saw the other day in the schedule in big capital letters that this was back in stock and that I had to come on and show everyone about it. So well, here I'm I am. I'm pleased that you've actually spoke to the team and managed to get hundreds of these in yeah. for today. So we're going all out for the price. Yeah. Um, it's normally £9.99, mm -hmm. which is a great price anyway, isn't it, for this? Same price as on the Long River. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's the Same price. price. This is the price for this. But for today, mm -hmm. we're going to go to the most amazing price. Are you ready? We're going to drop the price um, just to make sure that everybody can secure it at the best deal. And then we'll show you exactly what it is and how can use it. Go for it, Charlie. Charlie's da, da, first time crashing as well. I know. <laughs> Charlie's now doing everything in the gallery. It's only six ninety nine. So for anybody who's never tried this before, this is a perfect yeah. time, isn't it, yeah. to try it out. So what is it? So this is the Clover Dome. So it comes with a lovely um, case on the top, hard case, so you can have it any which way. Nothing will fall out. You simply unlock it with a twist and that will come off. And then you've got all of these cogs. I've been watching other people demonstrate it to make sure I do it right. And the lovely Stuart Hillard did a demonstration and called them whirly gigs. Oh, so I love like that. So it's now a whirly gig. A whirly gig. So you have all of your whirly gigs all the way around, which are numbered. Oh, and then you good. also have a little latch in the side here, with a little hook on it. Yeah. So you take one of your pre-threaded needles. I'll start with this one. I've got a few to do. Um, and you can pop it in to any number, but normally the one that is closest to the latch. And you simply slide it in. So you that's already threaded. Already pre-threaded needle. I also have some needles here which are done with um, buttonhole thread and button thread and like stronger thread, because it does take thicker threads as well as oh, just your normal good. 50 weight. And then you hook it over your latch at the side. Yeah. And then you simply spin. Oh, that's and not a all of sound, your, isn't it? all of your thread <laughs> gets tucked away, tangle free into there, and then you can keep going. And how many threads does this store? So you can hold up to 10 threads in here. Oh, and why is this useful for you personally? So I originally got this when I was working in theatres and backstage because it's really handy to have in my pouch, ready to go. I can have lots of different colours loaded on, so depending on what show I'm on and what kind of colours I might need my thread to be, they can all be ready to go rather than just be pinned into my top or yeah. into the pouch, which could then hurt me or an actor. Um, so it was brilliant for that. But then during the first lockdown, I started doing a lot of EPP and a lot of hand sewing. And to have that ready to go all the time with, I mean, it was mainly greys I was using, but they were pre-threaded. They were a nice length to do my EPP with. So I didn't have mm -hmm. to think, oh, well, I'm, I'm going outside now for a few hours to sit in the sun. I'm going to have to have a huge piece of Thread. It's and something silly like that. And, yeah, to, and to struggle. Yeah, yeah, and struggle with a long piece of thread. I thought, yeah. no, I'll have ten manageable lengths of thread ready yeah. to go. Sew with those. Cut it off. All done. And it can go stored. You can store it back in there again. I sometimes store my used old needles back in there again once they're empty. As long as you keep the end out, they won't get lost. I suppose um, that's good because you've got Doris, the cat, as yes. well now. So if you've got little paws or or little hands, um, the amount of times that I've I have done it where you put your needle in the side of the sofa or you see yeah. people who've got them in their mouth and changing things and you just think, right, that is keeping them all nice and secure. You have got the lid as well. So if you're taking them on the move, mm -hmm. uh, you know, let's hope lots of us going back to workshops and retreats, yeah. things like that, this is going to be perfect yeah. to take on if the move, isn't it? If you're back going for little weekends away, sewing or not, you, you want to take your sewing with you, even just in the yeah. car, have it with you. It's really secure. You can simply pop your lid back on and they're all in there, locked away, tangle free. And that is completely tangle free. So we'll carry on putting some more yep. in, and then I want to see them come out yes. to see the magic. To be honest, I did pull all of these out of here. None of these are newly threaded needles. I pulled them all out this morning. Oh, brilliant. Um, We've had loads of messages, oh, by no. the way. Patricia's saying, good morning, Vic. Love you from Blackpool. Good morning, Vicky and team. Derek said, good morning, Kat. Good morning, Good morning, Derek. Charlie, Elliot, Cara and Vix. Good to see Doris's mum presenting. Oh, <laughs> Doris will be so proud. <laughs> she won't be watching. She'll still be asleep with a doubt. Tom's <laughs> watching. He's put morning cat with loads of cat emojis and television <laughs> emojis. Um, you're perfect, both of you. 
They it's a cat them. theme day, isn't it? It is. So. Delphine's watching. Oh, she's just put morning, you absolute beauts. <laughs> Uh, Christy, my friend, my mum friend. Hi, my lovely Christy. She says, morning, Vicky. Lovely, beautiful as always. How'd you do it? I never know. I'm still in my dressing gown. I left your house in last night. Oh, <laughs> so Kieran for Valentine's Day got me a hot tub that I've hired. Me and Kieran haven't even sat in the hot tub together. I just keep inviting friends over, <laughs> like, come over. So yeah, I had Christy and Betty yesterday and they left in the taxi in their dressing gowns. At what time? Um... <laughs> At half past ten, was it, Christy? I don't know. Oh, probably too late on a school night, but it was good. So, how many have you got up to? Uh, now? One, two, three, four, five in there at the moment, and I am just placing them in really randomly, like I'm just making sure that I'm going to the one nearest the hook. I like that they're numbered as well, because if you're doing a project where it calls for certain threads, you know, different, I'm thinking maybe cross stitch or you never know, yeah. that you want different coloured threads, you could do yourself a bit of a key. That oh, in number yeah. three, I've got this one in number four. Yeah. Um, I've got the pink one in number five. I've got a red one. Very organised, yeah, that definitely. Really organised for a project that you need all these pre Yeah, even threaded. put yourself a little key in the top of your... Because it's clear, you can always see how many threads you've got in there, what you've got nice. ready to go. Yeah. Um, and then simply, to take it back out again, we'll now eject them all. You can grab hold of the thread or of the needle. With my nails, the thread is a little bit easier. Yeah, you've got lovely little nails. And you just, they need to do it. And you just simply pull. And it comes out completely tangle free. I think oh, the red was the longest I had on. I'd obviously got ready to fix something. Completely. Tangle oh, free. Wow. That's so clever, isn't it? I mean, you know, when you're buying a clover product, yeah. that you are going to have that. Uh, you know, it, it's their quality products, aren't they? Um, and it's got all of the instructions on the back. But you can just jot down today's date and watch Kat's demo. There back. are lots of demos on YouTube as well <laughs> with different people doing it. But it's a very simple tool. Once you've got it, it's really easy to understand yeah. once you know what you're doing with it. You might look at it originally and go, what? And yeah. <laughs> we use the word gadget and we're like, I don't need a gadget. For my, I just want to start my sewing. Oh, it's, it's not a gadget. No, no. And when you think, pin cushions are lovely and you can get some gorgeous pin cushions. But when you're trying to pull that thread out and it's all knotted and they're all nested, you're only going to waste thread. So yeah. to yeah. reduce the amount of thread you actually end up using, one of these is perfect, keeping it all detangled and lovely and ready to go. Uh, good morning, Philippa. Morning, Vixen Team from a very windy Blackpool. I know it's very windy this morning. Stay in with us. We've got some brilliant, brilliant demos today. Car is here, but open your orders nice and early. If you are shopping with us today, it's only one PMP. And if you've bought this, six ninety nine tomorrow, it will go back up to nine ninety nine. Which, anywhere else, if you have a search, we had a bit of a search this morning, mm -hmm. we found it on the Long River website, there it is, right now, £10. I it's bought £10. mine from, I bought mine in between uh, Sewing Quarter and here. Yeah. I, yeah. Did we have them at Sewing Quarter? I feel like we did, I always remember CL talking yes. about them actually, yeah. um, who you met, Claire Louise, obviously a couple of weeks ago, and I remember her saying how useful it was for dressmaking yeah. as well. And, uh, yeah. and I think I met someone while, I, while we, it, we, I was doing the in-between work um, on a show with one, I thought, oh yeah, I'll get one of those. So I went, as you do, to the Long River and got one for that price. Yeah. And now oh. it's here. Six ninety nine. Uh, you can thank Kat for that, by the way, because it was Kat who did speak to the team and said, right, let's do an amazing, uh, you said about the manager special, mm -hmm. and now we've managed to honour that crazy, crazy price of £6.99. I thought if we were to take a pound off, that would have been good. Yeah. We've gone all the way, haven't we? So thank you ever so much, thank Kat, you. everybody. She's got to go back into the gallery, actually, now to... Um, Talk to me in my ear. Figure out well how many we've Well done, Charlie, as well. Pressing all the buttons. Morning, Susan. She just put morning, Vixen, everybody. Windy start here in Derbyshire. I love my clover needle case. And just got another, as they're so useful. That's a good point, actually. You might need multiples. If you've got lots of projects on the go and you think, I like to keep one in my car. I like to keep one in um, my sewing room. I like to keep one in my handbag, one in my sewing bag ready to go. Well, how many threads do you need or how many needles have you got it's good to just be able to have them all pre-threaded ready to go maybe you struggle to thread your own needles and somebody could come around and thread them all up for you that's what i'd do for my mom is i'd say right let me thread 10 for you and then you've got enough to go um on your projects that's perfect just six pound 99 hi beverly beverly's message hi lovelies when i'm hand sewing i always have 
thread left in my needle and uh, loads with thread all tangled. So this is perfect, no wastage. Exactly, exactly. Even if you're just trying to keep hold of those bits of thread um, that you think, oh, wh what, what do I do with them now? You can just keep, um, I know how much goes on the floor. I know how much I end up taking home with me just on my top. So that's perfect. Um, hi, Vicky. I've changed my TV supply. So made up uh, that I can watch Sewing Street live on YouTube uh, on my TV. I have to do that now. I don't know, I, I need to retune my TV. In fact, if my mum is watching at mine this morning, mum, can you retune my TV? Because I'm not very good at it. But I do watch it on the um, YouTube, which is good, on YouTube, on your telly. Oh, brilliant. Right, loads of people taking advantage of the multi-buy option. Um, we got in hundreds, especially for today, more than we've ever had. So this is absolutely perfect. Karen said, I've bought this before. I'm now treating my mom and sister. Great shows. Karen, oh, brilliant idea. If you know somebody that enjoys, uh, who loves sewing, maybe doing their binding, even if they don't particularly love hand sewing, to have yourself all set up, ready to go, that you one, you can do it on the move, but it's all there. You're not having to scramble to find some thread or to thread it up. If you have somebody who always says to you, can you just thread my needle? I can't quite see the eye of the needle to, uh, to thread it. Can you do it for me? Then why not treat them to one of these for £6.99? It's brilliant. Hi, Angela. Hi, Vix. Um, great for having in a handbag in case of emergency repairs. That's a good point, actually. Even if you're not uh, a sewer in particular, it's good to have, you know, your emergency repairs kit, isn't it? That's really handy to have in your sewing box. Maybe for somebody who's going off to uni or, uh, you know, going off living on their own or just having one, like you said, in your handbag. Gain is put. Um, I have this and love it. She says, I used to have loads of thread in my pin cushion and they will get tangled, but now they're neat and tidy. Oh, brilliant. And I suppose you can see what you get, what you've got, can't you? You end up actually um, saving money because you're not wasting thread and buying more thread that you don't necessarily need. Okay, we had hundreds of these. A quarter of the stock has already checked out, but there's loads more in baskets, so do be quick. Morning, Vicky and team. Sunny so far in West Sussex today. Having a lie-in on my birthday. Oh, is it your birthday today? Uh, having moved house at the weekend with a cup of tea in Sewing Street. Happy birthday. You shared birthday with Amy. New house, birthday and cup of tea. Sounds perfect. Thank you, Fiona, for your message. Hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Right. Keep checking out on that. We have got loads more to show you this hour. Um, just a quick question. Does it work with embroidery and sash go threads? Vivian, yeah, it does. Kat's tried it with um, sash go threads. Heavier weight threads also work with it, which is brilliant, isn't it? Because that's, of course, a lot of, um, you know, more of your hand stitching weights. I wonder whether Cara's got one of these. We need to get Cara on board. Alison Marion, I know you've got one. In fact, um, I think a lot of our guests could do with having one. Cara loves her hand stitching though. Delphine, are you watching? Apparently she likes to, you know, lick the thread before stitching, on air maybe. This is perfect, this is perfect. Um, we'll have to get one of these for all of our guest designers. Uh, all right, keep checking out. I'll remind you about it throughout the day. And thank you to the amazing cat. She was really nervous. I don't know why you're nervous. She's such a natural on TV. Um, okay. Coming up on today's show, this first hour, Fabulous Fabrics. Uh, nine o'clock, we've got February's Cat of the Month with Cara. This, this month's cat is the Sphinx Cat. Um, we all love this quilt, absolutely love it. And obviously it comes from all of the different panels. We'll be showing you how to make the quilt at the end of the, uh, the, end of the collection. But each cat also comes with different instructions to make different things and today we're making the bag and the Dresden cushion that's behind me. So that's at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, sewing room tools. Um, we've got some great tools, some native lighting as well. I was on over the weekend at Jewelry Maker. Mark Smith's birthday. We take Claire and native lighting, I think a little bit for granted here because we've been so lucky to have her from the start more or less. Um, and we talk about her lights quite frequently. But it was the first time they had them over at Jewelry Maker. It was Mark Smith's 50th birthday. He is, um, you know, a, a royalty at Jewelry Maker. He's been there for over 10 years. And he chose for his birthday that he wanted this native lighting, um, the, the, the floor lamp, Lumina floor lamp. And 
every one of them sold out. I think they had 60 or 70 of them. They all sold out there in the auction. And I thought, do you know what? I actually stormed on ours. Like, do you know? I love this. This is from Sewing Streak. You've stolen them all. So I think we literally have a handful left of each colour. So I'll talk to you about it if those of you have not seen it or if you've been umming and ahhing about it. I've just purchased the ring lamp as well, which I love. Really excited about that. I've just got the ring lamp. Uh, yeah, I took a picture on it on my Instagram this morning, me and Kat. Uh, 11 o'clock, we've got the Garden Gnome um, pillow, which is from a brand new spring book. It's an Annie's quilting book. The price is amazing. How cute is this? The price is brilliant on Annie's quilting books. In fact, it's already selling on pre-order. It's already selling. Um, a really amazing price kit as well. I don't know why it's been discounted, but we're making the most of it. We've got a brilliant price on it as well. So that's coming up at 11 o'clock. Then Sam Sabido's here for Yarn Lane. She is so excited. Uh, it's so exciting whenever Sam's here. But we've got a brand new Feel the Love cardigan. She actually posted about it in the fan page. Um, she uh, posted about it on the Sewing Street fan page, in fact. So have a look if you've not seen it already. I'm excited to wear that. Uh, already on the Yarn Lane pre-order. In fact, I'll show you the Sewing Street pre-order, how you can get involved. Delphine, I'm getting one definitely. Oh, that's, by the way, not the company. That's personally Kat getting you one. I've saw Sewing Street has replied. I'm getting one for these for when you're on air, said Kat. But, um, yeah. We're getting you on. Uh, just so you know, 100 have gone, so please, please, please do check out your baskets. The first time we had it, we had 100 in stock, they all sold it out. Um, we've managed to get more than double the quantity today. We've only done that price point once before, really. That should be like a birthday special price, shouldn't it? We should have kept that for the birthday. Um, but thank you, Kat, spoiling us. So, if you go to sewingstreet.com, you can see what's coming up on the show by clicking Watch Live. There she is, Delphi. She's back on Friday, everybody, with John. She's got an amazing show. If you scroll down, um, you've got the early bird special there. Today's bestseller at the moment is the early bird special, obviously. Um, and then this will appear in two sections. The top will say today's show deals and the right will be pre-order. So if you click pre-order, then you can see everything that's coming up in today's show. We've got lovely fabrics in this first hour. Uh, that fabric there on the right hand side, that's actually the top that I'm wearing. Somebody's made a beautiful top out of it, so I um, bags it for today's show. Uh, let me know if you remember the pattern that this is from, because we weren't sure. Oh, have you seen the mosaic giraffes? It's amazing, Kat. Kat actually missed giraffe day, can you believe it? She's obsessed with giraffes. Um, people are already checking out on the giraffe fabrics as well. No. We're taking them lower? What do you mean? <gasps> okay, if Kat said, if I go on air and do the demo of the Clover Dome, then I want a discount on the giraffe fabrics. What a diva. What a, to pull in all the demands. If I'm on air, then I'm going to start being a diva and demand things. Right, on the left-hand side. Um, I can't say too much, but we are getting so close to this being physically here in the building. I mean, so close, so, so close. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If you want £50 credit to your account for March, buy it today. Please do make sure you're getting that whilst you can because it is really close to being in stock. The moment it comes into stock, we can't offer you the £50 credit. So um, it, it, you're not going to have to wait long. I know that um, obviously the whole sort of incentive of saying, look, if you purchase early, then... Um, because you're going to have to wait a bit longer, you'll get £50 credit. You're honestly not going to have to wait long at all. It's going to be sent straight to you from Elna as soon as they arrive in, which is really, really soon, and you'll get £50 credited to your account. Um, we're asking every day for updates. We um, have been sort of told that it's any day now, so I'm not actually specifically sure on the day, but... I wouldn't miss out on that offer. Wouldn't miss out. It's mid-Feb now. It's mid-Feb. We were told it's mid-Feb. It's literally mid-Feb. Um, if you haven't seen the machine in action, Cara has literally got the manual um, out this morning to answer any of your questions. So if you've got any questions, get them in and we'll be able to answer them today. Um, the cat of the month. Our new cat is there on pre-order. The Sphinx cat. Oh, what should we call him? 
There was a Sphinx cat on Friends called, wasn't it uh, Mr. Whiskerson or something? Mr. Whiskerson? I can't remember. Let me know. We'll come up with a name. All of the other cats, all the other panels are there. Um, if you keep going down, you've got the bird of the month as well. It's cat the, well, it's the same as the, the, the cat of the month, the uh, bird of the month instructions. Our tools are electric scissors, by the way. Um, are, how much are they normally? £150 or £160? They're normally £159.99. I have no idea why that's discounted. <laughs> um, okay, we'll move on. Also... We've got a little special deal. There you go. Um, Cat's made some bundles, classic producer loophole, to get you a discount. Oh, the design rolls. I've never seen those Dan Morris design rolls, and they are beautiful. Right, this is the book. Item code IXPU71. That's 20 projects for £8.99. It's worth making the most of that. That is wrong. Um, there's loads going on. That's the entire day. Have a look on pre-order on Yarn Lane as well to see what's coming up there. Um, don't forget about your early bird special as well. I'll keep reminding you about that. Right, should we do the bundle of fabric? I love this. This is such gorgeous fabric. Um, it's called Le Poulet, which I'm, I think is chicken in French, but it's actually a fabric collection that's got one fabric. I think two fabrics, they've got chickens on, that's it. Um, so don't be put off by that. But it is just gorgeous, isn't it? This would be amazing for things like, you know, your kitchen makes, um, lovely for home decor, perfect for quilting. Um, if you've got like a kitchen slash dining room and you want it all to tie in nicely, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's so opulent, the, the paisley print. You've also got in here, well, everything is cut to half metre sizes. So by all means, you don't even need to use this all in the same project or the same collection of projects. That looks so expensive, doesn't it? I can imagine this um, with a lovely piped edge. I'm thinking a big cushion, a really big cushion. It's £77.40 and, and that is for four and a half metres of fabric and then you're also getting the, the, the panel with the Le Poulet. Um, right, because Kat's been on air this morning, she's feeling feisty. She's all, um, the adrenaline is pumping. She's like, do you know what? I've just decided uh, because it's really, really busy, we're taking it lower. There's loads of people who are already checking out their order Definitely make the most of this. 67.40, that's 10 pounds off. So, in fact, actually, this is 10 pounds normally, isn't it? You're basically getting this panel for free. Basically getting this panel for free. And that is lovely, isn't it? I do like the colours of it and the uh, the writing in the background. Uh, 67 pounds and 40 pence. If you love these colours, they are so rich, aren't they? Oh no, right, limited. There are six in baskets, we've got 15 left. That's everything that we've got. Um, you've got the beautiful paisley designs, paisley prints with the, uh, the darker background and then the lighter background's lovely, and the red. The Le Poulet. That's your only chicken one, actually. This is the one that uh, my top is made out of. Have we got these individually? Yeah, we have got them by the half metre, so this is the one that my top's made out of. And then we also have that same print, but with a lighter colour, in the with a lighter background. So this is it. If you are thinking of a big quilt or larger projects, this is going to go such a long way, isn't it? 112 wide, quilting weight, machine washable, beautiful quality. Um, today for 67.40. Okay, just so you know, that price will be going back up at midnight tonight. So if you do love it, don't wait. That's um, a cat special. You can thank Cat for that. It's lovely, isn't it? The panel is available individually, uh, but remember, you are saving £10 with that bundle. Right. This is really nice, isn't it? I'm actually thinking, I'm channeling my inner Cara Ackerman here, and you could just frame these and do some embellishment with your hand stitching, couldn't you? You could do some really lovely hand stitching. I'm thinking like little um, uh, postcard size, couldn't you? Sort of uh, in nice little frames with, with hand stitching on top. It'd be so pretty. Uh, can you speak French, Charlie? No, I'm just trying to work out what it says here. I know Kat doesn't. 
<laughs> nine pounds 99 no that wasn't me being nasty to you that was just well cat can't speak french can she i just know you can't nine pounds 99 what's that sorry Oh my gosh, so our friend over a jewellery maker, Lucy, um, who used to be our floor manager at Sewing Quarter, um, has just surprised us all on Valentine's Day, put a picture up that she got married. And we were all like, what? We didn't even know she was engaged. It's the most amazing news. And I just love her for that, that she's literally just gone, do you know what? We're, we're just going to keep it under the radar. I'm just going to get married. And she looked amazing. She looked so beautiful and so happy. She looked so happy. Oh, I thought we need to do something for her because we didn't do a hen do or anything. We need to go and take her out, don't we? Yeah, now I've got the hot tub for a week. That's it. I'll have to invite Lucy over. Yeah, the week is coming to an end, though. We've got to give it back on Saturday. You've got to come over, Kat. I did invite you. And Delphine. I've invited you. I think Delphine's coming Thursday night. <laughs> come around Thursday night. It's tomorrow, isn't it? Okay. Panel. Should we do the other and only other chicken fabric, Le Poulet? This was your favourite, isn't it, Kat? Oh, yeah, of course, the giraffes. The giraffes are coming up. Um, did you watch Giraffe Day? Did you see the Giraffe Day, Kat? It was absolutely brilliant. It was so good. We had loads of giraffe facts. We had loads of pictures of giraffe makes. We had pictures of actual giraffes. Judith sent in the best picture of um, a, a giraffe that she'd taken in Africa on safari. It's amazing. Uh, right, this is Le Poulet. You could fussy cut these, couldn't you, and applique them onto different projects. Look, Paris. Oh, what about like egg cozies? Yes. Little egg cozies will be cute. You could do like a, a basket that you keep your eggs in. That we over at Jewelry Maker, um, where we're all move. Uh, do we know we're all going to be under the same roof soon? Moving into a new studio, which is really really exciting. Um, but there's a lady there who works as one of the Jewelry Maker in-house designers, and she sells her own fresh eggs. And they they look really fresh. They look really good. No, they were dirty. They were fresh, really fresh. <laughs> um, Seven pounds forty nine for your chicken fabric. Um, okay, should we do the paisley prints? I've, I'll go for the red first because I'm thinking now dressmaking. It, remember, you can buy it off off the bolt as much as you want so it's by the half meter if you want um let's say three meters then you add six units to your order it's so lovely and soft i mean i'm wearing it and it's really beautiful have you got stuart hillard's bags for life book how about for bag making maybe you're thinking of getting involved with the springtime sewing book uh, the annie's quilting um it's already selling on pre-order by the way this would be perfect, absolutely perfect. Uh, we've got the, yeah, cream. I'm just looking at Mark Francis's Brighton shirt. Does this use, does he use the Quilters cotton for it? Quilters white cotton. I think you can do. This would be really cool for um, Mark's shirt, wouldn't it? £7.49, lovely for dressmaking, quilting weight. Love the teal colours. We've got it with the dark background as well. I'm whizzing through these just because we've got loads of fabric to do and we're already halfway through the hour. Um, it, the early bird is still selling, by the way. Those of you that are just tuning in, have a quick scan back on YouTube or on Facebook. Cat came on to demo the... Uh... Oh, yeah, you can... Cat saying, you don't need to watch my demo. Just scroll down on the website and you can see it there. We've discounted it. Brilliant price. I love, love, love the deep background. How about a lovely dressing gown? A pair of slippers. The uh, Liberty Alexa frill dress. That's a quilting weight cotton, isn't it? Oh, beautiful. Uh, we have got some of those patterns available underneath us on the website. We should try, we'll, we'll try and get to them this hour as well. Uh, so they're the Paisley designs. Shall I do the one that I'm wearing? This one is, um, the, I'm not sure what pattern this top is. If you know, let me know. 
there's no chickens on this. It's got butterflies. It's got flowers. It's got little birds. I went to the butterfly farm in Stratford yesterday. It was amazing. Yeah, really recommend it. Anybody who goes to Stratford upon Avon this summer. Have you been? Oh, I've never been before. No, Maisie absolutely loved it. They kept landing on her head and she loved it. Yeah. Seven pounds, 49, a half metre. Look, they've got little birds. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And um, it feels so lovely against the skin. I'm literally wearing it, literally wearing this fabric today. Seven pounds, 49, available by the half metre. I love the cream and can I say, you know Village Fabrics Home Spa pattern? This would be really nice to do um, Avon McAtamney's Home Spa. It's just that lovely, fresh, beautiful colour. You could put this with your um, bamboo toweling, but to create this design, how beautiful would that be in this fabric? Perfect. And all that you need is probably I was going to say half a metre, but I don't know. So I'm going to call it a metre just to be safe. And then you can make multiple. You can make multiple and it will be so pretty. You could put it with, even with, do you know, an Osnaberg. It works really well, doesn't it? Wedding gift bags, christenings. See, this is it now. Um, we're getting so many inquiries through my singing with uh, for, for um, weddings christenings, birthdays. Everybody's going all out for birthdays, aren't they? Because we've had obviously a couple of years of, of, um, of nothing. Um, no, we don't need to go all out for my birthday. No, I'm, I'm done. I'm done now, that's it. I'm all happy. I, was, I, was, I loved my 30th birthday. I just had Maisie and I just had Maisie as my 30th birthday present. But um, yeah. Yeah, seven pounds, 49. Oh, it was lovely, it was lovely. Oh, well, I was talking to um, Tom Stewart actually and he's getting married and I said you could do with a lovely pin cushion with like ribbon, this would be perfect for a little, um, uh, not pin cushion, a uh, ring cushion for, for the wedding. Little girl's dress, a little sun hat. That's my favourite, I think. I love the colours. Um, love this range, especially the black and cream wildlife with the uh, the big chickens. Oh, yes. I love that one too. That is really popular. That was Kat's favourite. Um, we've got the stripe. I think this would be great for a border print. If you got the chickens one, if you did get that chicken uh, fabric, why not get look this that you could use as a border round as well so if you've got this as a central block you could choose one of these stripes as your border there's so many different opportunities in fact if you're an epp -er, or if you love fussy cutting if you just get one half meter fabric one half meter unit of this fabric imagine you could do like your epp here 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 it's going to look completely different. Some of these um, vine elements, they're all going to look different, aren't they? Your hexes is going to, it's going to go a long way. Two more fabrics in this collection. Uh, we've got the red. Uh, uh, this is lovely. It's almost got, well, you can see it's almost sort of mottled in the background. It's got a bit of like a shadow print going on in the background. It's very, very opulent. I don't know why it reminds me of the Phantom of the Opera in Paris. Oh, your top cat. Oh, cat, no, she said she didn't make a top, but um, thank you, thank you. She says, I'm sure it'd be simple to make. She came in in a big hoodie today and um, she was like, oh no, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting changed. <laughs> Are you going to take the hoodie off to go on air today? She's put in, um, she got, she had all her makeup on this morning, coming in really early. What time did you get up this morning? That's still so early. Cat gets up at five past five. £7.49. Charlie, do you live locally? <gasps> so what time do you have to get up then? He lives in Wolverhampton. Half oh, four! 
oh my gosh. I don't want to tell all of you what time I get up. No, that should mean I get up earlier because I've got a baby. But no, I just literally, well, they, they see how I arrive here. Literally just rolled out of bed. Um, have you got the quilt, the quilt behind you on the show? So we've got... Uh, what month are we on now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're on number seven, which is the Sphinx cat. Very excited for this. Let us know, anybody who's got a Sphinx cat. We want to see photographs. Um, yeah, we're on month seven. Um, so we've got a few more months to go, and then we'll put the quilt together. So you buy a, a panel every month, and the panel comes with instructions to be able to make different projects each month. So this month, it's the bag and the cushion. Um, you can get the panel on its own if you want to make the quilt. They also come with complementing colour strips. So if you want to make the bag or the cushion or um, something else, then you can. Thank you, though. It's lovely, though, isn't it? I love the quilt um, behind me. It's coming up. And imagine, as well, mixing and matching with the birds, as well. If you've got the bird of the month. Um, yeah, literally, like, the cats are watching the birds. That would be really good. Uh, okay, last one from this collection. Don't forget you can get the whole shebang with a £10 saving today. £67.40. You're getting your panel for free in that bundle. That's on the right-hand side of your screen. £7.49. Uh, so, I did just mention about the Osnaberg. It goes so, so well with all of these fabrics. And I suppose it just makes your fabric go even further. So if you're doing cushions, you could use this as your cushion back. If you're doing a plique, um, you could cut some of the, the chickens out and applique them onto to your Osnaberg. Uh, it's lovely for bag linings. It's great if you're doing the cat of the month quilt, maybe. You could use it for the back of uh, any of your quilts as well. It's really lovely and strong, uh, it, and it's really wide as well. So half a metre for 279 goes a long, long way. Even for toy making, lovely for toy making as well. For anybody who's learning to sew, perfect. Do you know quite often if we're making doorstops or um, we say, look, if you're making a fabric bag that goes inside your project to put your, your pellets in to weigh your doorstop down, this is ideal to just have that you're not raiding your stash. Um, it's strong, it's durable, but it's still lightweight. So if you're making, um, if you are making, uh, you know, toys, if you're making bags, if you're using it for upholstery, Perfect, absolutely perfect. You can also paint it. You could paint it, you could dye it, you could um, print onto it, stamp onto it. We we're watching a video. We've been watching the entries for our search for a star competition. You haven't, you went here, where you can't. There was one lady. I'm a word, she is amazing. Um, I don't think I'm, I have any say or I'm not allowed to be involved. I just came off air and they were watching it. I was like, oh my gosh, let me watch these audition tapes. Everybody was absolutely amazing. And thank you so much for spending the time, um, you know, sending in your video. There were some videos that were edited absolutely amazingly, like better than Elliot could, definitely, absolutely. Um, but um, there was a lady who did amazing painting on fabric and quilting with painting. Oh, it was amazing. So cool. Um, £2.79. Cut off the bolt for you as well. So stock up is my uh, recommendation. Absolutely make the most of it. Shall we do your giraffes? Now, just so you know, this was only literally on air mm, last week. This is extra wide. The price on it, by the way, was amazing anyway, Kat. Yeah, it was brand new in. Everything was, you know, $6.99, $7.49. This was extra wide and the price was already, oh, yeah, yeah, extra wide. It's 140 wide. So lovely for dressmaking as well. This is so lovely for fussy cutting. And do you know what we noticed on this? You know how Tula Pink um, really thinks about her placement for subcutting? So I got the ruler. In fact, let me do it again. Let me see if um, I can't remember exactly what it was. But for example, this square here of your zebras is, where's my number one? It's like a five inch square. So look, if you cut this out into five inch squares, 
you have got literally your perfect five inch square there. It, you can fussy cut these whichever way you want with the drafts in the corners, with the, uh, the zebras in the corners. Uh, a, a really clever placement of the print. I love this. Okay, £4.49 is not your discounted price. Can you believe it? <laughs> if you've checked out already, add this to your order. Add this to your order. If you've already checked out on this, don't worry, you'll all pay £3.49 half metre. I have no idea why. <gasps> I tell you what, that is more affordable than some of our, uh, our Rose and Hubble solid fabrics. And can I show you how wide it is? I'm thinking washing baskets, storage tubs um, for your craft room how beautiful is this for dressmaking imagine like little dungarees with a little sun hat for a child how cute this would be team it with any of the different colors as well there's some beautiful flowers in the background that is an absolute bargain oh thank you good morning is the uh, is the osnaberg ideal for using on embroidery machines yeah Maybe I'd just say put some stabiliser behind it, but absolutely, yeah, perfect. Uh, get both of these. If you've got your uh, half a metre of Osnaberg for, what, £2.79? And this for £3.50, how much you're going to be able to make? Drawstring bags, backpacks. Just, of course, get yourself some interfacing, your H640 or your Bosel. This would be great for bags. Right. Check out on as many units as you can because this will sell out and it will not be coming back. It's still cut off the bolt for you. There's no catch. It was brand new in for Giraffe Day, but Kat loves giraffes so much. She wasn't here on the show and she said, right, if I'm going to do these giraffe fabrics, I want to do something really, really special. So she's discounted them as well. Oh, if you are multi-buying, think about how much you're saving as well, actually. Um, the more that you're purchasing, obviously, the more you're saving. Uh, and this is going to be so useful for lots of projects. So, so lovely. I wonder if Christy's still watching, my friend Christy, because her lovely little baby, Ava, um, everything, she she always wears animal, everything, it's all, we always make a joke. It's like she's, she's always on safari. She's always having all of her animal clothes on. And she's having a safari first birthday party. So imagine doing a little dress, a little gold dress with this. Oh, beautiful. Hi, Sandra. Oh, okay, Sandra, if you're having any problems on the website, call the call centre. They're so, so lovely. Um, Kat says... Kat says she can see you've got more than one unit in your basket, so you're obviously trying to check out. Um, the customer service team will be able to help you. It's free to call and they're lovely. You'll be able to get straight through. Okay, half the stock gone, more than half the stock in baskets. If you have got it in your basket, please do check out. That is very low. Um, okay, we're going to wait to do the other giraffe hour, uh, fabric at the end of this hour. So if you do want it lower than the price point that's on the website, check out now and you're guaranteed to get it still at the lower price. Um, how amazing is that? Oh no, right about a quarter of the black mosaic giraffe fabric's already gone, so stay tuned for that. Um, we've got really beautiful paisley fabrics. Oh, see, this, these would be perfect for Mark's, Mark's shirt. They're really lovely quality as well. Uh, blue and black. I bet our, our Paul would love this. He loves a paisley print. Making things even like, you know, cravats or ties or pocket squares. Um, if you've got Mark's twilly pattern, little twillies. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie's like, what on earth are you on about? You're having a laugh. There's no such thing as a twilly. Oh, there is. I just love, imagine if you were to do, oh, yeah, fancy boxer shorts or like um, a dressing gown. Oh, amazing. Derek, waistcoat. Perfect for a waistcoat. Gorgeous. Just the back of a waistcoat. Insides of pockets insides of um you know pockets and and having changing a placket on a, a cardigan for this and pockets using it for a plique perfect this would be beautiful oh great right managed to get three meters by adding water to time my husband would love it oh for a shirt oh brilliant please you managed to get it thank you sandra 
Um, just so you know, there's literally seven units left of that giraffe fabric. So if anybody wants more than one unit, check out now. Um, okay, we've got another couple. Really? It's exclusive to us. Oh, amazing. Completely exclusive to us. Only £6.99 and a half metre. Seven berry fabric. Japanese beautiful fabric. I love it. Love, love, love that. Should we do with the white background? The blue and white. There's something very classic about this. It looks almost like your pottery. You know, um, uh, let me spin it over so you don't see the sticker. Um, no, it's not. It's, uh, is, it, is it Wedgwood or Spode? I think, I think lots of them do. Royal Dalton. Yes. Six pounds, 99 and a half metre. Exclusive to us. Seven Berry is really famous as well, isn't it? We've got exclusive um, prints today. These are exclusive to us. Just £6.99. Come in and say hello. Those of you watching on Facebook, I've got the live chat open. If you've got any questions about the 680, uh, uh, any questions about the cat of the month, we've got Cara Ackerman here. Um, we've got a really, really lovely day today and tomorrow, in fact, Cat, We're together, aren't we? We're together all day tomorrow. It's been so long. Cat came in with croissants and everything today. Very fancy. Um, okay. Yeah. Seven Berry's really famous. Japanese company that um, print really high quality fabrics. And these are exclusive to us. How amazing is that? Uh, this black and gold, I love. I keep talking about dressmaking, um, but I mean for for home decor as well, for bag making, this would be lovely. But I mean, imagine this, Liberty dress. That would look amazing with, for the Liberty pattern. Neat, like with your, your boots, a t-shirt, even just like what I'm wearing today, just something that's, you know, quite, um, quite classic, something you wear every day. But the fact that nobody else would be wearing it, Oh, I love that. £6.99. There's the pattern. Um, now, just so you know, our prices are brilliant. The fact that we've got, the fact that we have got exclusivity on this is amazing. But then to say we've got exclusivity and it's 6 99 and a half metres, brilliant. Prices of fabrics are going up, 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 aren't they? We've got one other fabric exclusive to us, remember. Half the stock of oh half the stock of this is already gone and we haven't even told you the price stay tuned it's coming up in the next 10 minutes um this is lovely creams and blues and tans i love that blue that is a beautiful blue isn't it um cat's saying she's sure we've done a top in this before as well that is lovely isn't it you can mix this into your uh your quilting as well Derek agreed these fabrics would make gorgeous waistcoats. How are you, Derek? How are you? One, we need to get you on the show. We'd love to come down, make a waistcoat. And we can just have a sing, couldn't we? We can get the piano out, we get Mark Francis over, and we can have a big sing. Um, oh, yeah, because when we go to our new studio, we'll be under the same roof as Gemporia. There are amazing singers at Gemporia. More singers, more musicians. Yeah, Charlie, do you play any instruments? <gasps> I was going to say Elliot plays the drums, but Elliot's out of the band, so Charlie's in. Charlie plays the drums. Charlie, do you play the drums? Did you used to play the drums? Um... Hang on, we'll talk after. But I've, I feel like you... I. No, I feel like I know your face from somewhere and I feel like I know where it is now. £6.99. Um, where have you played the drums? Where have you played the drums? Did you, go, did you study music in Birmingham? Oh, he plays jazz drums. So he's playing the orchestra in Birmingham. That is so cool. Oh. Um, Derek says, yes, I love the sound of this. I'll be up for it. Let's do it. I'll speak to the team and let's get it in action because that would be so fun. We could do um, a little musical show on air, couldn't we? You know, like um, when Jane McDonald or John Barrowman finished their show with a song. We could do that. 
We could do that. Right, we've got some dressmaking patterns. Let's do the Liberty dress first. This is the Alexa Frill dress. It comes, uh, well, this pattern is in sizes six all the way to size 22. It's immediate level because I suppose it's got the, the detail on the neck, the frill on the sleeves, the gather around the waist. Lovely. Uh, there's different variations. I'll show you at the bottom of the, uh, the packet. So uh, depending on how many frills you want. So you don't need to put the frill on the neck. You don't need to put the frill on the end of the arms. You don't need to put that extra um, panel on the flounce on the bottom there. They all will have different sections. So it's a very versatile dress as well. Perfect for cotton, satin, and it also recommends poplin. Um, it's fully lined as well. All of the size measurements and the guides are there, um, which is the back of the pattern. Is that the second image on the web, Charlie? Yeah. 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 So you'll be able to look on the, uh, the website and see the sizes. Oh, gosh, that would be so good. Anne has said you need to do a theme tune for Sewing Street. At Jewelry Maker, they have um, like a, an early bird VT. You know when we go to the early bird little advert thing? They have one that's got these singing going, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. And they didn't ask me to do the backing vocals, and I was really upset. They got Michael Wolf to do it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we need a Sewing Street theme tune. We'll get Derek involved. Oh, as if by magic, the Alexa Frill dress. Have I not done my button up at the top? No, I haven't. At least I went on air the other day and didn't, I had my top completely inside out and didn't realise until I was on air. I was like, oh, it's, it's really in, isn't it, to have exposed seams? But no, my top was just inside out. That is beautiful. That is beautiful, isn't it? But if you don't want to do it with the, the ruffled sleeves or, or, or frill, it looks very designer, very designer. Very top floor of Selfridges. It looks very expensive. Uh, Cats say, oh, I don't go up there. I don't go up there. That is lovely. And that's with the flounce at the bottom as well. <gasps> I love it. Um, right, so we spoke about Mark Francis's um, shirt. We have got the pattern. It's a unisex shirt. It's unisex. Um, I love it in quilting weight cotton, but you could also use different fabrics. Uh, sizes extra small to XXL. Do you know when Mark demoed this? I believe Stuart Hillard made a shirt from this pattern and was wearing it the other day. Right, it was the 23rd of October, October the 10th? Yeah, um, last year. So if you want to watch it back on YouTube, just type in on YouTube, Sewing Street, um, 24th of October, and it, it should come up the day that Mark was presenting this. And he opens it up, goes through all the pattern. But it's a lovely shirt for 14.99. Um, I think there's a short sleeve option as well. I think it's the short sleeve one actually that Stuart was wearing. He wore this pattern, but it was his own fabric. Oh, I really, really hope we get to do some of his fabric soon. Oh, we can only dream. So, the Home Spa set, when we launched this just before Christmas, it completely sold out. We've managed to get some more back in. So if you're thinking for Mother's Day, if you're thinking for um, gift ideas for birthdays, little pamper uh, parties at, at home, lovely for maybe a teenager who's just getting into, you know, skincare and things, maybe a new mom. My friend just had twins and I've sent her like a little... Um, home spa package because she says, let's face it, I've got twins, I'm not going to be able to leave the house. Um, but it's lovely because not only do you have the sort of toiletry bag, which is such beautiful design with the floral top, it also has a little tray and squares to do uh, reusable makeup pads. You also can make an eye mask and a hairband. So that is so lovely. And you could put another couple of like a little face mask or something, couldn't you, in there? All of the patterns are in, um, your templates are, are in there. So it makes six reusable makeup um, pads and holder, eye mask, hairband, and a pretty gift bag to put them all in. You just obviously need your own fabric. Maybe some nice bamboo toweling fabric and then some of your cotton as well for the bag. It'd be really nice. Hindus. Somebody who's getting married, just a nice girly weekend away, or somebody who's getting married, hen parties, this would be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, we need a spa day, cat, don't we? We need a spa day. <gasps> oh, 
where are you going? She said, I've got one for Christmas, a voucher. Who's we? You and Liam. <laughs> oh, it was addressed to Kat and Liam. Would, li would Liam like a spa day? Yeah, he probably would, wouldn't he? I wondered whether he could, he could um, yeah, take me instead. Take me. Uh, but everything is there. So um, that's how, what you're going to need. That's what you're going to need. Completely beginner friendly as well. Two of the patterns that were on the show, by the way, um, the Lone Star Cushion by Debbie Shaw and Susie Duncan's sewing machine cover. They're on the website. We might not get a chance to get around to them. Um, there was also the Origami Cushion, Sally Ann Harrison, and of course the Book of Borrow, which you see here. Sorry we haven't had a chance to get to everything. Half the stock of this fabric is gone and you don't even know the price yet. Kat is discounting it. I love it. Rainbow mosaic giraffes. It's amazing. There was nothing else quite like it. It was one of the most popular things across the whole of the giraffe day because of the price. It was 4 49 It's 140 wide. Really lovely quality. Um, oh dear. Right, so we did 3 49 on the other fabric. Watch this. We should be going to 349. This is giving you a reason to stay with us all day. Oh, no, we haven't though, Kat. Over half the stock's gone. She says, I'm only doing it because of the quantity. We had hundreds of units. They're all already going. If you want it, it's 299. Sorry to scream and shout at you, but that is a bargain. That is so good. Two pounds 99. You're spoiling us. Look at the faces. I love it. Those of you that got the early bird special, the Clover Dome today, you saved three pounds on the Clover Dome today. So you could get this and this and still pay the price that you would normally only pay for that. And tomorrow you will pay for that. So under 10 pounds, you can get the Clover Dome and half a metre of fabric. And can I show you, half a metre of fabric is going to go such a long way. If you're making bags, if you're making, um, maybe yourself, you could make, like Kat's got, your pouch. It's wide. It's 140 wide, Kat. Did you not hear me say that? She's chosen not to hear me say that. And she's like, oh, whoopsie, shouldn't have done that. It's extra wide. Just make the most of it. There's 55 of you have got it in your basket. There's only 30 units left. And I'm presuming a majority of you are definitely going to want to make the most of that saving and buy multiple units. Let me know what you're making. Let me know what you're making. It's so cool. Especially going into spring and summer. I had a dream last night that I went to a, oh no, that's why I had a dream about it. So my friends were telling me, you know when you had a conversation and then it just sort of gets more and more elaborate in your dreams. So my friend who came around last night, uh, she was telling me about, sold out, she was telling me about a baby rave that we can go to at the end of March. Yeah, it's like lunchtime, little baby rave. Um, but um, I was thinking then, I ha went into a dream that I went to a full festival with Maisie. But how cool would this be? I want to make her a baby rave outfit. Sorry, there's 75 of you that missed out on it. Right, if you do still want the giraffe fabric... Oh, it's gone, sorry. Stay with us. Cara Ackerman is coming up. Put it on your wish list. You never know. If any become available, you'll get the notification first. Um, Cara's going to be joining me with Cat of the Month. Do not go anywhere. We're back in just a couple of minutes. Hello, my name is Fiona Hesford, also known as So Girl. I'm based in Worthing on the south coast of England and I work in my lovely garden studio, which is where I am right now. So uh, my sewing journey began as a child. Uh, my mother used to surround the house with Laura Ashley fabrics and wallpapers and I used to patch together some of the scraps and uh, make little quilts for myself and uh, dolls clothes and things like that. So one of my top tips in dressmaking would be to definitely make a toile before you start. Uh, sometimes uh, if you're using expensive fabric, it's a good idea to make, some, make the garments in a sheet or a cheap fabric, just so that you're absolutely sure of the fit. An interesting fact about me is that I used to be a knitwear designer back in the 80s. And once I made a jumper for the singer Sade, which was really exciting. Uh, I worked in Paris for six years and when I came back I fell back in love with fabric again and I started working with 
magazines and books and writing projects for them and that led eventually on to me designing my own collection of dressmaking patterns. Uh, my philosophy is that I love comfortable clothing every day, things that are easy to make, easy to wear. I like modelling my clothes myself and I wear pretty much everything that I design. So I always think that if I feel good in them, then other people will. I've been working for Sewing Street since it's been, since, almost since it began and I love it there. We're like one big family and I'm on the show about every two, mo two months and so I look forward to seeing you on the next show soon. Bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, welcome back to Sewing Street. Really exciting day today. There's loads going on. Of course, Cat of the Month. We're on month seven, I believe, now. I cannot already. believe that. I know. I don't know where time's gone. So month seven um, is the Sphinx Cat. We want all your photographs. Has anybody got a Sphinx Cat? Um, yeah, this is this is like quite an obscure obscure one isn't it actually um, more of a specialist cat you don't see these cats every day do you so yeah we want to know have you got a sphinx cat also um i must mention the 680 is already selling very well today so well done everybody who's managed to secure their machine today um i can't say too much because i don't know an exact date but all i know is that it's any day now so if you do want extra 50 pound credited to your account in march we cannot honor that after it's come into stock basically once it's in stock um it could be tomorrow it could be next week but it is any day now it is the 16th we said mid-february and it is mid-february so it's any day now um so if you do want it it's £50 uh, accredited to your account uh, for March to spend in March here at Sewing Street, which is so exciting. Uh, that's going to be the price when it comes into stock. You just won't get the £50 credit. So I just want to make sure everybody's aware of that. If you were umming and ahhing about it, absolutely make the most of it today. If you've got any questions about it as well, please do let us know. Think about how much you're going to be able to buy as well. Birthday week in March. It's going to be a really, really good show. Uh, well, a whole week show for our birthday and you've got £50 there to start your orders haven't you which is really exciting um, if you have got any questions about it let me know and we'll try and answer them with Cara because I know she's been sitting with the uh, she's been sitting with the 
uh, manual today. Right. Are we ready? Cat of the month panel on its own. So if you are wanting to make up the uh, the quilt, just grab your panel on its own. And of course, at the end of the the uh, the showcase, then we will show you how to put the whole quilt together after month twelve. You do get the complementing strips as well, which are great. They're two and a half inch strips all with different designs on. Let me lie it down so you can see all of the detail. They've got the background, which has got this lovely floral design. And then the cat itself, it's actually like patchwork. It's got lovely. Ah, oh, you want to call him Billy? <laughs> we want some names, please. Send in all of your names. Do you have a Sphinx cat? We want to hear from you. In fact, actually, how do you spell Sphinx? Message in, how do you spell it? Because there's a bit of a debate going on of how we spell this cat as well. So I don't know whether um, it's spelt correctly on the graphics. I'm not quite sure. Um, so you get your 10 and a half inch square and then you also get your five two inch coordinating strips, which are all lovely as well. So if you're wanting to make the Dresden cushion, we have got the kits, or if you want to do the, uh, the, the, the bag, again, we've got the kits, but if there's a project that you've got in, in mind or any of the other uh, instructions from other months, that you want to make, just go for it on its own. It's only £9.99 and exclusive to us. Brand new for this month. Very exciting. Loads of you have already checked out on this on pre-order. Um, everybody pays just £9.99 for that one. Now the two patterns that we've put them with, we're going to do the Dresden first. Um, we're going to go through that with Cara as well. It's behind Cara. We'll see it in a second. So you get your instructions, exactly the same panel that we've just seen. And this time your Amber makes instructions. It says bird of the month. Don't worry. It's exactly the same uh, panel. It all fits together for your cat as well. $18.99. Goes through how to make your blades, how to do the circle, how to turn it into your cushion. But we are going to go through it with Cara as well today. All your templates are there. £18.99. I think you actually save a pound. So the panel on its own is 9 pounds The instructions are 9 pounds So if you are getting the bundle, you're saving a pound. Uh, the bundle for the bag, which is your market tote, it's actually got lovely patchwork as well on there, it has, hasn't it, Cara? Definitely, yeah. So you've got your pinwheel designs on the back as well. That's the back of it. All of the instructions are great sort of stash builders as well because you can use this with lots of different panels. Oh, hi, Anne. Thank you for your message. Anne said, morning all. Uh, attached is my two cat panels, which I've nearly finished. Oh that quilt for my uh, granddaughter, who has four cats. The names um, will be in the middle of the blocks. And that is brilliant. Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> love amazing. the colours. Love the colours. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Well done. That's amazing. Keep all your pictures coming in as well. We have got the other panels available on the website, which we will go through in a minute. And if you love that quilt that Anne's made, this was the panel that she used. This is cool, isn't it? I, I love, love that. It. You've got a cushion on the shelf as well behind oh, you. Yes. So um, it's just lovely because they're miniature versions and they're facing, if you've got two cats, the same cats, they're facing different ways. Oh, so um, it's really, really nice. Oh, and they, are these all five inch squares? Oh, so if you got the, the end of the bird of the month, we did that shadow block, um, the charming squares, charming shadows. This would be perfect to use for that as well. Oh, there's loads you can do with five inch squares, isn't there? We've got books and books for, for charm packs. So that's perfect. How are you, Cara? I'm all right. for ages. I know. You've been away on holiday, yes, haven't you? Yes, I have. It's good to be back. It's nice to be back with you. Excellent. Um, you've done the majority of these cats at the month. I have. Shows, I was you, just sort of counting and I'm thinking oh, I've done one, two, three, four, five. This will be the sixth. Oh, yeah, so you've done but, all but one then? Yes, so I think there's one that I haven't done, but they're go the ones that are coming up are gorgeous as well, but this is such an unusual one. Yeah, it is. I've never really heard of it before. Oh, really? No, not at all. Oh, no, so, well, you don't, you, we, we don't really see Sphinx cats very no, often, do we? No, they're very, very unique, yeah. very unusual, very yeah. unique, and um, I read up a bit about them, and I think, I hope I'm right, um, but they were bred sort of in the 1960s oh, okay. in Canada, so that's where it first started. 
and um, there's not many of them around so it would be lovely to hear from people if they've actually got one I'd love yeah. to see one they're apparently real characters oh, real characters brilliant. you know they're not sort of quiet unassuming cats they're quite sort of full of themselves and everything so it'd be lovely to hear Oh yeah, we want to hear from you. If you've got a Sphinx cat, please let us know. Do definitely send in your pictures. Or if you've got a friend, if you know somebody with um, a Sphinx cat, this would be a great gift, wouldn't they, for somebody? Oh, Charlie's friend's got two of them. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, you need to get in the panel. Message them and get them to send us a picture. We want to see. Um, okay, so the are we going for the market tote or are we doing the Dresden plate today with you, Carl? Dresden plate Brilliant. today. Brilliant. Brilliant. And the panels themselves are great because they come already with your complementing strips. Yes, they do. And But there's lots of different options that you can do. So I'll talk through those as well. So it's behind you can see it's behind um, it's behind Cara and uh, these instructions are brilliant to have they anyway, really are they? yes yes to have for any of the fabrics or anything like that I mean on that one I actually used a dark fabric on yeah. the one that I'm going to demo today I'm using a light fabric and it does change it the one that you've got the, the um, one mm -hmm. that you've got at the side of you uses a lighter color yes there you go. So you can see, you can use these with, you mix and match them with any of the panels, any of the bird of the month, any of the cat of the month. They all work together. Um, the instructions on their own are your side graphic and your main graphic is for the Sphinx panel, panel on its own. If you want any of the previous cats, if you go to the website, um, in fact, I'll show you. If you click watch live, scroll down, pre-order section, there, there, there. They're there. All of the other cats are there. So if you've missed any of the other shows, this is my first Cat of the Month show. Is it? Yeah, and it's Cat. And you're here all the time, Cat. And Charlie. So it's all of our first Cat of the Month show. So if you've missed <laughs> any of the other cats, they're all there as well. Um, right, so do you need a specialist ruler? Because you can buy dressed and plate rulers and everything, can't you? Not for this one, because oh, the actual good. instructions have the um, template for the, what did you call them, blades? I think I did. Did I call them blades? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm sure um, I've heard them. So there is a template, before. So and it's quite straightforward. I can go through the cutting of that as well. So. Brilliant. So... I'll get started. Tom. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the, all your templates are included there. You wet, they call it a wedge in here. All right. So um, the instructions take you through everything. So, you know, um, watch back some. Of, I've done the Dresden plate before, but um, watch back some of the previous shows. Um, so I'm going to go through actually the circle on the cushion. So you have the panel. And with this particular cat, um, there's really not that many options and this is the template for the circle and the the size of the circle this is your stitching line so the edge of that is your stitching line so when you place your circle onto the fabric bear in mind that you want to have enough fabric around the edge for your seam allowance okay um so you can play around with it um you know if you want a little bit you can sort of have more fabric at the top or more body at the bottom but you want to make sure that you keep the cats within the circle when you are happy with the positioning of it pop a few pins in so pop your pins around the edge of the circle three or four pins is is perfect because what you're going to then do is turn this over and this helps you position it on the other side um, but you can actually see through the fabric and you can see through where the cat is but this is just a really good way so then with a friction pen you just draw around the edge and this is going to be your stitching line as I say so just draw around the edge and then you'll be taking your pins out you'll cut the um, facing fabric for the circle and you'll have one to face the printed fabric but then you'll have a pair of plain ones to do the back of the cushion as well right and the cushion has um, some lovely labels as well so you can actually add the label I added the oh. label on the back I'll bring it down in a second that's really attention to detail look because um, I, I, they like doing that on the panels I suppose it uses up room any room on the panel yes. that they can fill don't just like you know spare space 
where they've put the labels as well. So have you put that onto the back? So I've actually um, put Bonder Web on it and then I zigzagged around the edge and actually put that on the circle on the back. This is the plain circle on the back mm -hmm. and then you have the front which is faced as well and put on the centre of the cushion. I really love the mystic sort of peacock jewel tone that's that going lovely. on with that one. It's really yeah. unusual and in fact um, when I took the photographs at home I looked at it from a distance and it looked shiny. Yeah, it oh it does really, from here. Yes, yeah. yeah, but it's not, it's just plain. Um, so then you'll take your facing fabric. So you just need to pick one coordinating yes. fabric. And yeah. how much do I need? Just half a metre all right? Um, half a metre, yes, will be fine because you'll um, want your coordinating fabric for the other blades, mm -hmm. the other wedges. So um, what you'll do is you'll take your pins out and then you'll just pin that to hold the fabric and the print, the plain fabric and the printed fabric together. And then what we'll do is just trim the fabric down so you're not using all the fabric, just the area that you want. All the measurements and everything are in the instructions. Oh, hi, Rachel. Rachel Lewis is watching. Hi, Rachel. I'm coming down to the um, pear tree again soon. Um, near, near where you live. Um, morning, Carol and Vicky. Carol! It's Carol. Carol? I thought that I was like, Gara. I did a typo. Uh, I made a lovely shopper bag with my ragdoll lily and black bobbin cap panels. Oh, lovely. Oh, send in pictures, send in pictures, send in pictures. Um, tote bags are brilliant, aren't they, to make with these panels? They really are. And um, one of the tote bags is re a really big one, the one that you've got at the front there. Oh, that's perfect for your wool and knitting. Oh, or gosh, your fabrics. Yes, keeping fabrics. anything in. Yeah. That's perfect. Have a look under the um, panels. There's Amber makes. In fact, actually, no. If you go onto the website and go Amber make instructions, you'll find all of these different ones on the website. That one's a great one. So you've done. You've cut your fabric mm -hmm. nice and um, trimmed to the actual facing. Popped a few pins in. I'm going to actually bring the pins into towards the centre. As I say, your drawn line is your stitching line. And um, I love this machine, <laughs> I really do. So, yeah, you've been having a play on it this morning, I have. You? I mean, I've got um, a beautiful machine at home, which I really like. I need to talk nicely about it because I don't want it to go wrong. <laughs> but I have had it for 20 years. Oh, OK. So, is it time to upgrade? Well, do you find that now coming in, in and working on this, do you see the difference? Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's a lot of similarities, mm -hmm. but then there's much, much more much much more with this and um i you know just looking through it this morning you've got so many stitches so many options you know for your quarter inch seam and things like that well, that makes a difference doesn't it, it to make makes sure you put your huge accurate difference and all the inch. feet and everything that are included oh yeah you get a walking foot included yes i know and um you know uh, the one that i was using at home for the second hour was an applique I needed an applique foot, and I haven't got one on my machine, but this one has one. Oh, fantastic. So, um, you know, it was just, I thought, hmm, mm. Well, the thing is, if you were to purchase the feet for your machine now, like, they can cost a lot of money, can't they, to About buy? About £50. Pounds. <gasps> really? Yes, for the ones that I've got. I've got a Janome at home, yeah. and um, I think my walking foot was about £50. Pounds, so Gosh. Yeah. That's it. So rather than buying any more feet, I should put it towards a new. And you get £50 credit then if you're getting I know. this before. Uh, I know, before which is lovely. So um, I'm going to do the circle. And the best way to do the circle is actually reduce the stitch length. At the moment, it's on 2.4. But I went down to actually 1.5. And that just helps you when you're going around in a circle. So pop your needle down and then just follow the line. And just go around and because you've got a very small stitch length you don't have to lift the foot up so often mm -hmm. to go around the curves which is great because you want a really really nice smooth line curves can be quite daunting can't they but yes you can stop with your needle down and yes it around. and as i say because the stitch length is so short um you know you don't have to if, if you've got a longer stitch length you'd have to lift the foot up a little bit more often and you want a, quite a smooth circle. You don't want your fabric to be 
pulled out of shape or anything like that. Looks very well lit, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, there's a lovely amount of uh, light around it. I think the other thing that I would um, really, really um, enjoy is just having the automatic cutter as well, because I'm always sort of thinking, oh, where are my scissors, you know, um, because the one I've got at home doesn't have it. Oh, Derry just put on Facebook Live, Cara, order it, it's a great machine. <laughs> just do it, just buy it. Uh, is he offering to pay? Yes, it is, <laughs> Derek. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I keep like you said, though, you can have a machine for 20 years and, um, you know, it's still, uh, if you think price per use, price per day, it's an investment, yes, but we're still offering split pay, aren't we? Is it for split payments as well? We'll run the graphics through so I can see what your split payment options are, because there is a split pay option. We understand it's an expensive time of year, so if you do want to get it, especially with the £50 credit spent here in March, um, there you go. That was my first question when it was uh, we were selling on pre-order, was, right, can we get it on split pay still? And yeah, we can. Five! Not four, five split payments! Oh, even Goodness better. Me. Even better. Zero percent interest, so all you have to pay is £249.80 and you can start sewing with it very soon as well. I can't say too much because I don't know exactly and I don't want to give wrong information on air, but it's coming in very, 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 very soon. And the moment it hits the warehouse, we cannot give you £50 credit to spend. So it will be any day now. It could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be any day. So definitely make the most of it um, with the £50 credit. It's got to be on a John Scott day because he will. He will go <laughs> crazy if it's not on one of his days. Especially as he went on holiday, didn't he? And it just came in last time and he missed and it out. went straight out, didn't it? Yes, I know. Um, gosh, no. Very tempted, very tempted. Oh, you've got pink in shears there. Yeah, so um, because you've stitched around the curve, you can see there, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just press this. I did put that on. No, I didn't. Um, plugged it in. Yeah, oh, it's, it's on, on now. now. It's, it's on light. now. It's I let that light. warm up. Um, and I can get rid of, well, you won't be able to see the stitching. So I've stitched all the way around and just come to a join. And then you want, because it's a curve, you want pinking shears is good, or you can use normal scissors if you haven't got pinking shears, and just go around the edge. I've got a question, Cara. Yes. Hi, Jane. Morning, lovely ladies. Am I right in thinking the Alna 680 Plus has the pin and hole so you can put your pin in circle? Yeah. Um, and so uh, a circle can be sewn to your machine. Yes, it's got oh, the little wow. circular pin, which is in your top wardrobe bit. Yes, it has. Yes. It's got that little circular oh, pin. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. That's what that is. There we go. Jane, I'm sure that that's what you're talking about. Um, as I said, I've got the pin and hole so you can pin. Yeah, that's for doing circles, 100%. Yes. How exciting. Wonderful. Any more questions? Let us know. If we can answer them, we will. And if not, I've got the manual. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> exactly. Get all your questions in now. So I've got the manual Cara here, so I can have a look. Have a look. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So in Thanks, the break, Cara. if you have got any questions that Vicky um, may no, not be, know. I'm sure you'll know. Um, but if not, I can have a look in the manual. The Perfect. manual's lovely. I love, isn't that sad? I love reading <laughs> sewing machine manuals. Well, they're not, it's, it's good, it's vital. Um, I, we, the other day, I went round to Cats with Maisie and we bought her a new sippy cup and we were like, oh, I don't understand how this works. So Cat was like, right, we'll get the instructions out. And we felt like we'd failed putting this sippy cup together because <laughs> let's get the instructions out. But actually, they were all like really difficult to read. It was all in different languages, really. Whereas this is like a, a book that's oh, it's it's like lovely. a instruction book. It's brilliant. It's really good to sit and read. Oh, in fact, somebody... Um, put it onto, printed it out, put it on the fan page in preparation. Because maybe actually, if you do want to see the, the manual yourself to see whether the features are sort of right for where you are on your sewing journey, have a look on the Elna website or on the Sewing Street fan page. I know somebody put it up there. You can have a look. I think what's lovely as well is that there will be people there that have already got one and they'll be able to answer so many of the questions Ooh. as well because it's only when you start using it and you know I've as I say I've had my machine 20 years and I still get the manual out yeah if there's something that I'm you know I was doing as I say a plique and I thought right I am going to check how mm -hmm. my machine 
or how they suggest yeah. doing the applique. And um, so you never, ever, ever stop, you know, yeah, reading no, it. No. So, okay. So on the um, back, on the actual facing, so we've trimmed it all the way around. On the facing, I find the centre there and measure an inch in both directions, inch both directions. And then what you want to do is make sure that you separate your fabrics like that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to snip the facing fabric only. You don't want to go through the printed fabric. So just take your time doing this to make sure that you haven't got any of the printed fabric. And then about two inches, it doesn't have to be exact, but two inches in both directions to make a, a cross on the back. I had a question come in. Um, have it, can you tell me the name of the Amber Makes bag with the white cat? This one, oh, the good storage deep bag. Um, we can put the graphics, there you go. Code on the side, IGA467. Um, it, it's a great size for your crafting. It's oh, like a craft really caddy, is. isn't it? That one, I think I only used um, the 8640, but if you've got Bosal or something like that, you can make it stiffer and yeah. firmer so it stands sort of more. Nice. It's really, it's so roomy. Yeah, so that's roomy. great. That's great. It's a, a, like a baby changing bag as well, isn't it? That's lovely. Constantly looking at things thinking, right, how can I make Maisie's nursery look nice, tidier, and neater? So this would be perfect. And um, if, if you didn't on. want to, you could make those without the handles or shorter handles. Oh, so, so have a, like tubs. a little storage caddy. Yeah. So oh, great. Oh, really nice. That's really useful to have then. Your instructions are there. Thanks, Cara. Okay, so I've cut um, the centre and now you turn that through. Um, I have got one of these little things. I don't know if you've got something similar. Pokey tool. A pokey tool. Um, I love it's this like a one. a shoehorn. <laughs> I love this one because it's got the curved edge. And that is really, really good for getting it into the curved size. But any pokey tool, well, I wouldn't use this scissors on this but you want to sort of go round the edge and push out that seam before you press it. And it just helps it lie nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Without weakening the seam. Yes, okay. yeah. And because we've um, done the pinking, it's easier to get that seam flat. So, and then you can roll it as well and Oops, I love this little um, mat. Ooh. Oh, we need to get some of those back in stock. They are great, aren't they, the little wool mats? So I'm just going to press that. I'm going to press it from the right side because I don't really want any of the grey to show over. But it, you can choose whatever colour you want. You know, So if you wanted to use that lovely jewelled um, colour that was used on the cushion behind me, mm -hmm. Um, you can do, um, but because this isn't going to show at all, then you can use any of your scraps at home. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we had um, the natural seeded Osnaberg on the show earlier. You yes. could just use something like that. Yeah, you? definitely. And in fact, Osnaberg would be lovely um, as a contrast fabric for this particular cushion. So we just press around there and then you'll top stitch it. If I've got time, I'll top stitch it, but I want to get on to doing the wedgies. If I want to do um, any hand embroidery over the top of it, would I do that before, right yes. at the start? Yes, yeah, okay. do it before. And if you want to, you could actually pad this, so you could put some wadding or H640 as well, and then um, maybe machine around the edge, maybe add some um, sort of sparkly threads for the eyes, oh, wow. maybe for the whiskers. Um, you know, you could play around with it completely. And if you have actually, um, you know, put some wadding or something, it stands nice and proud. But <gasps> even yeah. even as it is at the moment, it does Still stand, stands, yeah, yeah, stands proud. I love so it. there you go. So that's your circle. So you'll oh. do that with any of your cats. Okay. So any of the cats of the month um, will fit into the centre there like that. Oh, that's what I love. They've really been, you know, very clever with the designs that they all fit along all the different designs. So if you want to do the Sphinx um, in the caddy or in any of the other cushions, they all sort of mix and match. They, they? do, which is lovely. Um, so then you'll do another one, a plain one for the back. And that's where you can actually put your label on if you want to. So you've got those two. Pop them to one side because you'll need them later. 
So then we'll come on to um, the actual strips that you've got. You'll do, I think it's eight inches, the depth. So you'll be cutting the strip into eight, let me just double check, where are we? Eight inch strip. So you, you cut into an eight inch strip. You can choose, you can do it from the bottom, the darker color up to the lighter one. You'll be left with a very narrow strip of whichever color you decide. Um, um, but I think that, you know, makes it look really, it's a, a clever way of using it. A lot of um, that narrow one is actually covered by the circle mm -hmm. anyway. So, you know, it blends in beautifully. So you cut your eight inch strip for the full width, add a little bit of extra either end because you'll need that little bit of extra if you want to do your front and your back because you'll want 20 of these wedges. So then you'll take the pattern. So it's good because they always look like they've been pieced that you've literally done the strip piecing, but because you haven't got the white gap in between these, it's perfect that you you know you don't you need just, to do that. Yeah, you can just cut really it. Really easy. So what you can do is you'll overlap the edge of the wedge pattern. So I've just traced this out of the um, actual booklet. Just onto like baking powder or freeze paper. Um, mine is on um, baking parchment. Yeah. So anything like that or tracing paper. Yeah. I think this one was tracing paper. So you can do that and then you cut your strips or you can turn it over. And I found this much, much easier. And just again overlap and then just take a friction pen and just mark the top and the bottom. So you've got two. Just be wary that you've got your width of your pen. Um, so you want to be very economical when you overlap them. You want to actually do overlap them a little bit because you don't want to run out of fabric. So we just do the top and the bottom like that. And I cut it with a rotary cutter does help, or you can cut it with scissors. You can draw a straight line if you feel you need to. Okay. And then take a ruler. And you'll take it from the corner there. Just cut that across. I do need a new blade. <laughs> Sorry. Is that one of another. ours? No, it's mine. I need to. I've done so much cutting recently. They're it. good rotary cutters though they are, aren't they? Yes. I really like the alpha ones. Yes. I really should get into the habit of changing the blade every time I start a new project um, because there's nothing worse than having to cut it like that but there you go there's the little extra bit oh, at that. I see. but yeah. it's going to be in the seam allowance okay. so you're not going so to see worry. it yeah so carry on cutting like that across and you'll be aiming for um 20 from the pattern fabric and then you'll want to cut 20 from your coordinating fabric that's if you want to have your front and back to be the Dresden plate. Right, so you could just do one big circle of another fabric if you, you want. You certainly could, you certainly could. Did okay. you do Dresden both front and back? I did on this, oh, yeah, gosh, I did on good. this one. Oh, and I actually, um, you do have, because I've done the darker fabric, you do have some of the lighter strips left. And I use that, can you see, I use mm -hmm. that for the gusset. Oh yeah. For the actual cushion. And then I um, cut one of the strips um, to use for the zip gusset as well. Um, but if you wanted to, you could use your co co coordinating fabric as well. Mm -hmm. So, <gasps> Helen, stay tuned, stay tuned. Helen has just said, hi ladies, I love watching all of the shows. I learned so much. But the question is, why doesn't anyone do free motion? Honestly, it's <laughs> like we've planned it. Has We're going to do some free motion. You're has obviously she been involved listening? in our prep. Yeah, you're listening in. <laughs> we haven't done free motion for ages, have we? No. So, um, we are going to talk about the 680, and um, it comes with a free motion foot. So, Cara actually said, Do you know what? I'd like to show everyone how to do some free motion today. Helen, stay tuned. <laughs> 11 o'clock hour, in the 11 o'clock hour. I haven't done free motion for a while, and um, on the cushion that's coming up, the gnome one, the spring one, um, 
I actually did do some free motion for the um, leaves mm -hmm. and uh, it just, I love it. Nice. <laughs> I just got back into it. So, sorry, I've, I'm just cutting a couple of extra. Right, so then... Do you have enough fabric here to be able to do all 20? You should have enough if you're very economical. Yeah. Um, if you haven't, then you can play around with the fabrics and everything yeah. like that. It's just being accurate with your cutting. But um, don't worry if you haven't. So Okay. Okay, so you'll do the same with um so i've done it with the um pattern fabric and you'll do the same with the plain fabric mm -hmm. so you're coordinating one and then what you want to do is actually make some pairs so you can see i've made some pairs here but i'll do a couple more and you want to um have all your similar ones together because what you'll if you want to what you can do is alternate them so just make a pile of the ones where the fabric is, the lighter way. fabric mm -hmm. is there and the darker fabric's there. So you can make that like that. So, so this is where I like this machine. It's got the quarter inch foot on it. Kat did have to show me, or you had to show me well, how I did it. Well, it's Scott always says, doesn't he? Is it, is it stitch number six? It actually yes. says on the on the um, stitch chart, yes. quarter of an inch, doesn't it? It does. So you can go, you can go to seven millimeters. Yeah. Or a quarter of an inch, which is wonderful. And it literally wonderful. moves the needle across, doesn't yes. it? Two quarters of an inch. Yeah. So I'm going to put brilliant. it on 06. And it does it automatically. Yeah, move the needle for you. And then you'll just... And this is where you can um, piece them together. So, um, But I would always say put the, um, the coordinating fabric on top. Mm -hmm. Or if you're putting the pattern fabric, put the pattern fabric on top. But don't shift between the two uh, because okay. otherwise when you come to do the circle you might not find that they'll follow logically so do you notice similarities on this machine from yours though because uh, genome and elna are under the same umbrella aren't they there are some similarities and even um you know sort of the 20 year old there's certain things that are very similar and certain things that are different so um and you know it, it's like the different plates and things yeah. like that i want to you know, yeah, I'd want really to play really around there. with that. So, so then we'll just uh, take the stitch length back to normal, and with the cord, whoops, that shifted the needle. Just finish that one. I'll start another one. It's all right because I changed the stitch stitch length. It ah. actually changed. So now I go back to that. Actually, the stitch length is one point eight. That's I went over and looked at it and I thought, oh, it's still on the short one. But right. that, for the quarter of an inch, they change it automatically to 1.8. So. Oh, okay. So if you want to lengthen it, you can. Yes, definitely. You can still override it. Yes. But it goes to its sort of default recommended stitch. And length. I love the fact you don't, have, you don't actually have to hold it, really. Oh, well, I remember John Scott saying to me, Vic, you virtually... I, you, I can't say, oh, it sews for you, but it, it kind of does. It feeds through really, really well. Just it? evenly. Um, th we've only got two layers of fabric here, so the two layers of fabric is, is really, really good. I would imagine when you come to doing it with interfacing or wadding or H640, it might not go through. I don't know. I'll have to have a go and see. Um, so I'm just piecing these. So carry on doing those. And as I say, if you start with your um, facing on top, continue with all of them with the facing on top. Okay. And then you press to the dark side. Thanks for your picture, Rachel. She sent in a picture of her um, cat makes and her cats. We'll have a look at it in a second. Excellent. Oh, there. Oh, hang on. It's all right. So I'm just pressing these to the dark side. So pressing the seam. You don't want to um, press, you don't want to iron it too much because mm -hmm. you don't want to stretch your seam. Are you working with bias edges here then? Yes. Some, it's slightly on the bias, not completely, but slightly on the bias. So then you'll. Um, Machine these together and you'll machine them in pairs. And then you'll put your pairs together. So that's the reason why you want to have the fabric in the same direction. Mm -hmm. 
because if you don't, if you don't put your fabrics so you've got the lining fabric on top or the pattern fabric on top all the time, you will find that these won't join. You'll find that you'll have two of the linings together. Mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter. You know, it really doesn't yeah. matter. You can play around with it. You can, you can do your own thing. Um, but anyway, so if you want to alternate, um, so you've got the light colour there and the light colour there, then you put um, one of the pairs together and you'll do them into fours next. Okay, so don't carry on going round and round and round. No. Just do them into pairs and then into fours. And then uh, eights. Oh, okay. So. Oh, that makes it more manageable, doesn't it? Because I think a lot of people get scared of doing a big curve, but you're, you're not. You're still sewing in a straight line. <laughs> it is just a straight line. Yeah. And it's incredible how it just, you know, makes a circle. I'd never done anything like a Dresden plate before. And I thought, how does this work? But it does. And I think if I added one at a time, I would go wonky off yes. somehow. Whereas actually doing it into pairs, yep. into fours, into eight, yeah, it, it keeps you all in line, doesn't it? Which is nice from the point of view that, um, you know, when you've got them separated like that, you know that you're taking one from each pile. Um, here's the pictures that we've had through Rachel's pictures. Here's hi Vicky. Here's my tote bag, front and uh, back. Oh, fantastic! And a picture of my actual kittens. Oh, oh, they're oh gorgeous. my gosh, that is lovely. I love the fabric that she's used for the um, handles on the bottom oh, as well. Nice. It's oh. like the uh, leafy cork, doesn't it? Is it the leafy cork fabric that you've used? I think it's the cork one. It gives a little bit more body, doesn't it? Yeah. At the bottom, that looks lovely. And then. Um, oh. Derek, not Sphinx, but mine are Moggies. There's Pearl and Dean. Oh, thank you, oh, Derek. Oh, goodness me. I bet they get into everything. Is Absolutely. there a theme tune to Pearl and Dean, Cara? Um, there is. How's I'm not, it going? I'm not going to sing it. Cat, Cat can sing it. How's it go, Cat? <laughs> they still use it at the cinema. Yeah, what is it? Cat says she'll sing it to me in the break. <laughs> I'll sing it to you oh. in the break. Oh, Uis. Hi, Uis. Did, Uis, did you um, do your name phonetically or did Kat do that for me to pronounce? That's hilarious. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Word. Right. I've had these. my Sphinx cats for a few years. Our house sometimes gets too cold for them. Oh, oh my word. Um, that one of them managed to grow a, a bit of fur. Oh, oh my word. Oh, they lovely. Uis, do they all get along? Are they all friends? Oh, this is got so three cool. Three of them. Yeah. Goodness this me. This is Charlie's friend. Oh, okay. Hi, Uis. Thank you for your picture. Oh, you've got to get these panels, Uis. We'll get Charlie to to sew something. Yeah, we're teaching him how to sew. <laughs> I love it. Oh, they're brilliant. Oh, and what gorgeous pictures as well. Oh, it's so nice to see. And um, I bet they're really good company for each other as well. But you'll have to make a coat or a knitter yeah, or crochet yeah. something to keep the cat oh. warm. Um, have we spelt it right as well, Uis? Have we spelt Sphinx right? I've had a message about the early bird. Cat thinks it's about the early bird. Um, I have two for hand quilting and one, one, sorry, I have two, one for quilting and one for dressmaking. Had them for years. Uh, they were called needle nests when I first got them in the Bahamas. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Jean. Oh, they're so, so useful. Are you still using the original one that you got? Um, we need to get Cara one, don't you think? <laughs> Cara, you haven't tried these, have I you? I haven't. No, I'm going to have to um, you have a go. Are. I'm terrible with um, my needles and threading them and making sure I've got them. I usually stick them in my pincushion. Okay. But then I come to use them and the threads come out or the needle's gone or oh, something like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, that's that will change your life then. It's not a gadget, <laughs> it's not a novelty, it's really It's essential. Useful. Yeah, really useful. There it is today. And it's normally nine ninety nine, today six ninety nine as a special early bird price because we had hundreds of them. Loads have sold today. In fact most people have been buying multiple. I'm not surprised actually. Kat was saying it's useful to have one in your handbag, one, you know, in your sewing room, one to ready to go on the move because it's all concealed in the nice case, just to keep one in your EPP pot, maybe, already In threaded. the car as well. Yeah. You know, I was out the other day and a button came off and I thought, oh my goodness, you know, 
So, um, yeah, someone just said useful. that, even if yeah. you're not a sewer, just to have one as an uh, emergency repair. Yes. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I was thinking, my friend's a teacher, actually. I might get her one. I feel like children always need, you know, quick repairs in the classroom. Definitely, definitely. So you carry on and stitch these all into pairs and then you stitch them into the fours together. I'm hoping I've got a bit of time that I can um, get most of one of the sides like of the cushion. like 10 minutes. Yeah, that's okay. So, and again, if you if you batch stitch them, is it batch stitching? Chain Chains, stitch. Chain piecing. Chain piecing. <laughs> Batch Even cooking. Batch cooking. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you do it like that, it means that you're um, going to find that they will sit together nicely. So what we'll do again is we'll press. If you're having cats having um, a discussion now in the gallery about bread rolls, what do you call it? You know, a roll, a bap, a batch, a cob? A in... Um, I come from Hampshire originally and they're always rolls. When I first came up to the Midlands, I went into a baker's shop and asked for a roll and she looked at me and then she said, no, we haven't got any. And I'm thinking, they're on the shelf there. <laughs> and I said, no, one of those. And she said, oh, you mean a cob? A cob. So in the Midlands, where I live, they're cobs. Oh, and they okay. call them cob shops. So if somebody, um, you know, if there's one of the shops that's doing filled rolls, they're cob shops. Ah, so like, yeah, if you have a bacon and sausage sandwich, or but in a roll, yeah, I say roll. What do you say, a bap? Yeah, sausage bap. Or um, lots yeah. of different, yeah, lots of different things, batches, yeah. Becky, Alexandra Frost is watching. Morning, Hi, Vixie, Cara. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're okay, by the way. I saw that on Facebook that you weren't very well, so I hope you're all good. Sending you lots of love. Um, who else said hello to us? Uh, there was someone else, I think it was Carol, said hello. Yeah, Carol, morning, Carol. Morning, Carol. Loads of people making the most of the 680 this morning. Well done if you've checked out on yours. It's on pre-order still, but actually you're not waiting very long because... It's literally going to be coming into stock any day now. And this is your final few chances to be able to put your name on the list to get it. And you get £50 credit to spend here at Sewing Street if you do so before it arrives in stock. Um, and I hadn't thought about that. But you get to spend your £50 credit in March. And we've got the best shows lined up in March for you. As it's our birthday. We're in the new studios. There's going to be loads going on in March. Um, also, you can still use the split payment option. Five split payments. So definitely make the most of it. Right, what are you doing now? Right, so I've taken my um, set of... I've pressed them all. So I've pressed to the dark side. I've taken two of my fours to make an eight and I'm machining those together. And I'll show you what that looks like when that's done. Again, um, I can chain piece them. And you'll be trimming, don't worry if you find that your um, wedgies are slightly different lengths, you will be tri trimming them all. So we'll take just again, make sure if you want them alternating, that you've got the, um, the light, then the dark, then the light again. Pop that across. So that will be two eights, which makes 16, I think, <laughs> when yeah, I last looked. <laughs> So that will make 16. So I'm going to actually join those two together to make the 16. And then I want one of my spare fours to make it up to the 20. Here we go. We're getting people on the uh, bat batch. Um, <laughs> Baffa says that bat sounds funny. It does. I hope you feel better. She says she's got swollen glands. Oh, no. um, 
Growing up, we were taught to call them different things according to size, shape, and type of dough. Oh. Bats are bigger, rolls are finger shaped, and cobs are usually crusty. So, ah. I agree with you. What's a roll then? What's a roll? A soft, a soft cob. Yeah. Possibly. Or a cr oh. I, oh, sometimes like a crusty roll, though. I'll have a crusty roll. No, or a crusty um, cob. A roll? Hmm. A roll, yeah, finger shape, a long shape yeah. is a roll, yeah. Baps, yeah, if you have like a pork bat, pork apple stuffing bat, I would oh, never call that. You're getting a... hungry. Oh, I am, yeah, I am actually. <laughs> we had our breakfast very, very early this morning. Cat brought croissants in and we Ooh. were eating them by about half past six. Yeah, I might need to have another one. It is funny, though, in different parts of the country that you, you do call things differently and mm -hmm. you think we're quite a small area of land aren't yeah, we yeah. but there are so many differences so it has taken me a while to remember that it's a cob so if I go into a baker's I ask for a cob now right so I'm joining my eights together to make 16 still on my quarter of an inch just double check that Oh, Cara, I must say it's so funny. The other day I was in the car driving and um, I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to try a new radio station. I'm going to take Cara's recommendation and put Kistery on. Oh my gosh, I sent a, a rag cat be like, does Cara listen to Kistery? She was like, yeah, she loves it. And oh my word, it was, it was, it was too, too dancey for me. Too, oh. like, but it's really, um, it's uplifting. No, it was like club music. It was oh, like, right. What? Yeah. It was funny. Maybe the other I day, I was time. cooking um, a Sunday dinner and I had Kistry on in the kitchen. <laughs> and I actually took a little video of me in the kitchen and I thought, I'll send it to Kat. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, <laughs> if you've got it on your phone, you need to I have. I have. I have. I thought, I just need to prove to her that I do listen to it. What song was it on that oh. I was telling you about, Kat? Can you remember? But I remember saying, hang on, have I got the right station? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, we'd always think of you with, with <laughs> history. But it was like um, the Super Bowl. Did you watch the halftime show? No. Oh, my gosh, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, it had Eminem, Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, um, uh, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Honestly, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. You're way too cool. You're so much cooler than me. I put ABBA back on and I was like, oh no, put my Smooth FM back on or uh, ABBA oh, playlist. No. <laughs> I, I said to my daughter, because I know she likes Eminem, um, Eminem and uh, 50 Cent, she actually went to a 50 Cent concert with her dad <gasps> um, when she was a lot younger. And um, so I told her about it. We ended up sitting on her bed, watching it on a great big television that really loud. Oh, my Because she loves that sort of music as well. So, Gosh, you are very cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maisie. I'm just not going to be that cool. <laughs> <laughs> you might uh, be. You might. Depends on the music when she grows up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Hopefully Abba come back into fashion. <laughs> um, Leanne's put... We call them tea cakes in West Yorkshire. Oh. I would know tea cakes are the song, you know, toasted tea cakes with fruit in, aren't mm. they? That's what I call a tea cake. <laughs> right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just checking that I've got all the colours right. So the final seam. And then. What I did with my um, cushion mm -hmm. was actually put H640 on the back and then a piece of plain fabric on the back of that. So made a sandwich. <laughs> we are talking about rolls and sandwiches. Um, and then I quilted. I'll show you on the one that I've got behind me because I know we're getting to the end. It's H640, one metre piece, just £9.99, and you literally just iron it on, just fuse it on, don't yes. you? It's a Visaline product, and it's really lovely quality. It'll just add, especially if you're making a cushion, you want it to be nice and, and soft, don't you? And it, it is just more sort of, um, it gives it a bit more, um, yeah, bounce. But it's lovely. It doesn't look that exciting on screen, but it's really, really nice and plush. 
I don't know what I'd do without H640. If I'm doing any sort of sewing now, I think, oh, right, I want a little bit of padding or, you know, something like that. Um, I use it all the time. Yeah, Derek, I agree with you. Um, it sounds like Maisie has a really cool Auntie Cara. That's it. <laughs> if she's into, like, you know, rap music and stuff, I'll just say, look, you'll have to go to the concerts with Auntie Cara because, yeah, it's not my cup of tea. Um, Diane's just put, said, we call them muffins up north. Oh. Like rolls, like bread rolls. Muffins. Oh, gosh. This is why you say it's actually really confusing. Somebody comes to, to come to, and visits the country and then they're going all over, travelling over, and they have to call a bread roll something different. It's funny, isn't it? Um, here you go. Just a bread bun in, in, um, in is that Tynewear? Yeah. Tynewear, North East Newcastle. I think tea cakes in Scotland are the ones that have the little biscuit on the bottom, then the marshmallow, and then chocolate on top. Everyone's a fluffy one. That's a tea cake as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. This is so confusing now, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, so there's one of your circles. You will take your time to press it because you'll notice that it's not um, lying flat in the centre, but it is lying flat all around the outside. So you'll take your time to press it, but don't worry too much if you can't get it too flat okay. um, because that's going to be going over the top. Oh, I like this colour. It's nice with the light colours. It is, well, yes, isn't it? it really is. And then if I take this one down. Yeah, which is your favourite? A couple of minutes. This is the darker one. Um, what I did, I did um, in a contrast thread, I did um, try to stitch in the ditch. I didn't make it too accurately. Um, just in between. So mm -hmm. this is where I had my um, sandwich with my H640 and my cotton fabric and then I machined and I actually did that machining before I finished off and put that um, in the centre. Mm -hmm. I know in the instructions I think um, Beck suggests that you do it once this is in place but I found it much easier to come underneath okay. where this is going and that's going to cover and going back to sort of having it flat this is completely flat but you'll notice that the curve of the cushion goes round like that anyway. Mm -hmm. So as I say, don't worry too much that you're not getting this completely flat. You want this in the center as well, so you might want to just match it up. Maybe with, you can see where those dark fabrics are just to get it. And, and how then, do you adhere that? Do you bond a web it? Um, no, then that was just machine, top stitch okay, yeah, all the perfect. way around. And again, with the contrast thread. Um, but I did the um, stitching in between as well I just mm -hmm. thought it just makes such a nice finish so and then you'll um, have your zip gusset and the rest of the gusset and all the instructions are included in the pattern lovely thank you the patterns are brilliant aren't they and actually do you know what you're gonna be able to use this again and again and again yes um, because you don't need to put a, a cap or anything in the center you could just be uh, a cave or a tilde, a, a tulip pink design, oh fussy yes. cut something, a solid and and yellow round. It can all be like a sunshine. It could be, it could actually even be a different shape. Um, as long as it covers that center, you could do yes. a heart or a yes. star in the center, yeah, couldn't you? Or a could, square. Definitely. You don't need to do a circle. So anyway, if you get your pattern, um, this is really really versatile. It does also come. Oh no, that's just your pattern on its own then. Pattern on its own. If you do want it with your stash, if you want to save a pound, then you can get the pattern and the the, the Sphinx panel for eighteen ninety nine. So this on its own is nine ninety nine. The obviously pattern you've just seen is 9.99, so you're saving a pound if you get them both, and that is with all the coordinating strips as well. Um, have a look on the website for any of the the, the solid colours that Cara's used. Thank you ever so much, Cara. That's okay. I'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see you in an hour. Remember, we're going to be doing free motion, Helen, in the next hour as well. Okay. So, if you want the panel on its own. It's £9.99. It comes with your 10 and a half inch square. Also comes with all of those two and a half inch strips, which coordinate beautifully. I really like that they're not all blue. Um, you've got like these lovely, as I said, jeweled sort of peacock tones. Uh, Kat saying it reminds her of the sea. So you've got like the sand going into the, you know, the shallower point and then the depths of the sea. So there's a lot that you could do with this. If you do just want the panel on its own, um, you've seen lots of inspiration over the last seven months. In fact, actually longer than that, over the last year or so um, with the bird of the month as well. 
and these will all work perfectly with any of those patterns. Just £9.99. Okay, all of the other panels are on the website. What we'll do is we'll run them through in the break so they're easier to access um, underneath us on the website. Um, we also have the bag. So today you can get the kit, which includes your market tote bag instructions and your Sphinx panel, which uh, Cara also made. And you use that with a denim. Yes, that denim's lovely. It's so wide as well, which is really nice. And then choose a, a, a coordinating fabric for the lining. Love it. Uh, and again, there is the patchwork then on the back. So you, you've got all of the fabric that you need. Um, you just need to choose your contrasting and you, your lining, but you can use your panel for the patchwork. If you do want the instructions on their own, they're just £9.99 again. All of the Amber Makes instructions are so thorough, aren't they, Carla? They really are. They take you through everything step by step, which is fantastic. Brilliant. Any um, uh, sort of templates that you need are always included, but this is just done by cutting rectangles, so they give you the measurements. Um, right. Tools coming up after the break. We've got native lighting included as well, which those of you that um, have been umming and ahhing about native lighting or haven't yet made your purchase, stay tuned um, because we'll go through those. We've got loads to bring you. Oh, electric scissors are discounted and I have no idea why, so we'll find out in the break why. Um, but make the most of those, definitely. We will see you in just a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. I'm Rebecca Harrison. I live in Bromyard in Herefordshire with my three children and my dog. Um, I've been sewing for uh, over 30 years. Um, I first started um, at school. Um, we always did lots of sewing and my mum used to sew at home as well. So that's where my love of sewing has come from. My background is in costume, as I'm sure you can see. Um, and I, I make for film and theatre and TV. I've worked on films such as Titanic, Shakespeare in Love, Evita, James Bond, um, and theatre work. I've done things like Mary Poppins, Guys and Dolls, Prince of Egypt. Um, I've also worked for the Royal Opera House and the Royal Ballet. Um, when I worked at Angels, I was lucky enough to meet lots of film stars. They're all uh, walking around the building and in fittings. Um, and some of the people that I bumped into and met were Sir Richard Attenborough, um, Hugh Grant, Imelda Staunton, Juliette Binoche, um, and I even got in the lift with Christopher Lee. Um, and that's where I met the lovely John Scott, which obviously you all know. Um, I'm really pleased to be joining Sewing Street. I can't wait to see you all. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, 
click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hello, welcome back. Um, thank you for your company today. It's a really, really lovely day. This is jam packed. Desk is jam packed. So I'll get started straight away because we've got a lot that we definitely want to get through. Um, just a quick word about the 680. We're going to go through it in the next hour. So if you have got any questions, get them in. Um, remember, it is on pre order at the moment. So that basically means it's not currently in Elna's uh, warehouse just yet. As soon as they land, which we were told was mid Feb, it's literally going to happen any day now. So as soon as they do, then you'll, you will, um, of course, get a notification that, that it will be dispatched. Um, but whilst it's on pre order, you get 50. £50 credit to spend here at Sewing Street in March, which is brilliant. So uh, if you do want to pre-order it, there's the last couple of days. She's made me a coffee. Kat's saying, is Cara okay? Is Cara okay? Is Thank okay? you. <laughs> Thank you. She's lovely. Made me a coffee. She's creeping around the set. Durden. <laughs> Durden. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Um, right, so if you do want to make the most of the £50 credit, we're not going to be able to offer that once the machine lands in the, the uh, Elna warehouse. So, and that's going to happen any day now, any day now. So lots of people are checking out on it today. Today's the day to do it. Uh, right, so we'll talk about it in the next hour though, because we're going to do some free motion with Cara. the hour on on the website we'll go through pre-order we were a bit taken aback because this is supposed to be 159.99 i have no idea how i have no idea why but it's 134.99 look i have no idea just make the most of it whilst it's here they're all in a meeting we were going to ask in the break but um yeah if you want them please make the most of them when we launched them they were 169.99 which was a brilliant price for them especially now that we've got it on split pay this is fantastic we didn't have it on split pay either so these are the electric scissors they are um directly from the the, the manufacturer they, they we don't have them physically here uh, but don't worry uh you'll still only pay our postage and packaging now yours will come all nice and neat um these have been used a lot and I'd, yeah, they are charged. So, um, those of you who have got maybe dexterity issues, struggle cutting, if you're doing lots of cutting, I think Kerry actually uses these. Um, obviously, if she's making kits and doing lots of fabric cutting. So, instead of, you know, getting hand fatigue from doing lots and lots of repetitive cutting, these are useful for that. Now, you can do, um, you know, recycling, big boxes, even things like carpet you can cut into. So if you're working with heavy duty materials and fabrics, um, then this is great for that. But equally, you can do some really fine intricate cutting. And I, I'm not going to do it, but these are, um, they won't they won't cut you the, the way that they are designed to to work is that if i press it can you see that this bottom one will stay completely still and then this will go up and down up and down up and down and it's only where these points meet that that they cut um so this part here isn't actually sharp um they are steel blades strong and very very durable indeed um, and look if i press them down can you see how quick that rapid action and this is where it's cutting where those blade meets at the bottom it actually goes 6000 rpm um something per minute revs per minute is it revs per minute 
rotations per minute? I'm not quite sure. Uh, but anyway, if you know what that means, it's 6,000 uh, RPM, which it's got that really large, amazing motor. It works for 150 minutes without charging the battery. Now you can use it whilst it's plugged in. So if you're halfway through uh, something and it runs out of battery, you don't need to wait for it to charge up again. You can use it whilst it's plugged in. And it also comes with a second, uh, well, that one's the one that's, that you can use plugged in. And that one, obviously then you can use um, uh, and have it in its docking station charging. Um, when it's not in use. So it comes with the docking station, comes with the, the two the two charging points, also comes with uh, a screwdriver. Now you use a screwdriver to, in fact actually, yeah, you will need to use the screwdriver to take off the blade if you want to change it to the other blade. Now one of them is for more um, hard wearing, um, heavier fabrics and then one is for lighter weight it all is explained in your instructions which one you'll want to use for, for what um, what project now it does come with a European plug don't worry you also get the adapter you do get your adapter um, 67 pounds and 49 pence it is like a bit of a I don't like to call this a gadget it's more of a um, a specialist tool. It, it might not be something that you, you need to use every single day, but actually even cutting through your quilting weight fabrics or your lighter weight fabrics, it will give you more accuracy because it will grip the fabric. Um, so have a look at this. So model A, which is the one that I've got at the moment, is for your heavier. So your, your paper products, your carpets, leather, imitation leather, um, it's good for. Then also model B cutter, head is blunt it's suitable for thin and soft fabrics um, again you can still cut your leather um, and paper products but also any of your quilting fabrics this is going to be perfect for that we have never never done these at that price before first time ever you've got them now under 150 i think the lowest price we've ever been to was 159 154 once I think so this is the lowest price by an absolute mile if you were umming and ahhing about them I mean they are I I was going to say is it a bit of a boy's toy but actually they're really really useful um, it's one of those things that you're actually looking around the house thinking oh what can I cut next what can I cut up next really easy to add the charger charges up you can use it for a hundred and um, I'm looking around thinking what can I cut up no, that's an applique mat. Car will go crazy, and I'm not cutting a cutting mat. Um, right, this is a bit of sample fabric I can show you here. So, if you go quite slowly, you can still do. You can do fussy cutting if you want. Like it's just really quick and, and not taking any sort of effort. But if you are cutting your strips it's still really really accurate obviously I'm, I'm doing this quite um at a funny angle but if you were to do this to your desk you could still do it with your ruler couldn't you you could still have your ruler against it and get a really nice crisp edge um so you can go slow or you can do some really quick cutting with it 134.99 i reiterate is the lowest price this has ever been for well ever by a long long way long long way uh, we better not ask because then they'll probably um they'll change it back <laughs> uh, so these are all the sort of uh ins and outs of it the the tungsten steel blade um the cutter a which is one that i've got is suitable for sharp suitable for thick materials model b has a uh, a blunt blade which is suitable for the thin and soft fabrics but have a bit of a play around with it at home uh, and check that you're happy when you're you're going through different fabrics okay go on i suffer from a central tremor and it's cutting accurately it's difficult will the electric scissors help me get to stick to the lines um i know that you can do intricate things i'm not quite sure um as you're saying about tremors so you are still obviously in control of where you're cutting so it's difficult for me to answer if i'm honest i wouldn't like to say oh yeah you'll be fine sylvia and you struggled so stripology is great because obviously you don't go out of the grooves the lines with this you're still in control of where you're cutting um so it's, it's a bit of a difficult one 
remember you still have a money back guarantee even though it comes from uh, obviously the the supplier it will be said sent directly to you it's under our postage and packaging and you do get 30 day money back guarantee so maybe if you were umming and ahhing about it and you wanted to have a go you've still got the split payment option get them home try it out and no questions asked if you think oh it's not for me it has got that ergonomic hang handle and it does cut out a lot of stress from your hands from cutting i know that but i'm not quite sure with your case um sorry that i'm not very helpful. I wouldn't want to mislead you, Sylvia. So I would say have a go with them, though, because I know a lot of people love them. In fact, message in if you've got these scissors. Message in. Because it's the first time that I've ever seen them under £160. I know that they've been to 154 before, but that's it. That's the lowest price they've ever been. Um, so it's the lowest split pace as well. We had a message from Cheryl, uh, or a review actually from Cheryl. Scissors are very sharp, cutting so fast and easy. Um, Pleased to have the mains and battery power. Quite expensive, but probably worth it. So she left that review. That was back in July 2020. Uh, the price is now currently a lot lower than it was when we launched it. In fact, we launched it at what price, Cat? 169. 169.99. Very fair price, actually. I know lots of people who love them at 169.99. So brilliant price today. Um, I'm, I don't know whether I'm hoping the management are watching or not because I've got a feeling that that price is wrong. It's never been that price before and we weren't notified about it. So it's definitely worth making the most of them whilst you can. Oh, well done if you've got yours today. We do now have less than 25 available. Don't wait. That is last of stock. If you've got any more questions, get them in. If I can answer them, I will. Um, I don't know whether we'll be getting them back. I don't know. We haven't been told we're getting them back. So if you want the last of stock um, today, 134.99. Brilliant. Right, where should we go, Kat? I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee. Um, so, we've got a couple of bundles. Now, <laughs> so, the pin dish on its own, uh, this is a producer loophole. Management definitely don't know about this. Don't buy it. I never say this, but don't buy it. Pin dish on its own, it's 4.99. Its item code is IPU023. It comes in with an item code, with a cost, with the price it goes on air at, etc, uh, etc. Et what Kat has done is called the producer loophole. She has put pins, well, pins on their own, £2.49, IBZW07. They come in with this item code they are millwood they are glass headed pins great quality um don't buy them the reason i'm saying that is because cat has bundled them she's generated a brand new item code which is if6629 and for the two you're saving two pounds it means that um it's generated a new item code number, therefore Kat can pick what price she wants, essentially. Oh, and let me, let me show you the pin dish as well, because this is lovely. It's a magnetic pin dish as well, which is really handy. You know, if you drop your pins, um, maybe if you haven't got your clover sewing done, don't get me wrong, it's great to have your, your, your magnetic, sorry, your clover dome for your um, needles, but keep your pins and your needles separate is my bit of advice but if you are look I've got threads everywhere we need the clover sewing dome don't we and um, if you do drop any of these on the floor if they're all um, excuse me excuse me lady I'm trying to try to do a demonstration here <laughs> gosh they're not they're, well they're a bit too well behaved so it's obviously a very strong magnet as you can see so if you've got any um, pins maybe dropped into uh, uh, a rug if you've got grandchildren or children or paws any cats or dogs or anything you don't want to be leaving pins on the floor and that you could have literally on the side of your sewing machine couldn't you and I don't condone throwing pins but you could literally I, I wouldn't necessarily put it on top of a computerized sewing machine um, but just have it next to the sewing machine and as you're taking them out you could more or less throw them you could literally throw them and look they're all collected all nice and neatly i've got an awful aim oh i've got a really awful aim that one nearly went off the end of the desk um but the magnet is really really strong these are brilliant uh so there you go you've got your pins and you've got your magnetic um 
uh, dish as well. I love these pins. So, the reason that I love them is one, they're Millwood, which are of course really, really lovely quality. They're thin, they're really sharp, which sounds silly, but I was only talking to Janice not that long ago and she was saying, oh, I've had some of these pins for 20 years. They don't, they're, they're blunt now. So you have to replace them. We talk about changing your sewing machine needle. We talk about sharpening your rotary blade. You need to replace your pins every now and then as well. So if you are at that point where you're thinking, do you know what, you're right. It's quite an effort to pin things now. These are really lovely and sharp, fine and, and sharp to the point. Um, they are 30 millimeters in length, so they're really nice length as well. They're, they're sharp but, and thin, but they're durable. They, they'll go through layers of fabric. My favorite thing though is they're glass headed. So obviously, you know how important pressing is. If we're pressing our, our work and you've got a plastic headed pin, you can melt it onto your lovely fabric. So the glass headed, you can use it in conjunction with your heat and it will not break. I like that they're all bright colors as well. So if you're, you're bag making, for example, you're not gonna leave pins in a bottom of a bag for somebody to find when you've made it for them or you can see them at the machine to be able to take them out nice and easily. Because they are steel as well, they're strong and durable, but they're also prevent from bending and oxidizing, uh, not gonna rust, like th there's so many benefits of having them as steel. So you are basically paying 49p for those quality pins when you get this bundle today. If you get the bundle today, um, you're just paying 50p for the pins. Brilliant, Kat, thank you ever so much for that. I know that the management um, don't actually know about that one. That's a very crazy, crazy deal. Um, okay. The phone's going to start ringing. We've got to move on. Five pounds and 40. Look, even this look is starting to. This is already. <laughs> what a great gift for somebody. For that price, that is a lovely gift for somebody. Um, speaking of gift for somebody, I just mentioned the, the Clover Dome. Have you got yours? Where's yours, Kat? Um, I don't know whether you've packed it away in your pouch. So. Um, this is supposed to be $9.99, it's always $9.99, tomorrow it will be $9.99 on the Long River website, it's $9.99. Today, it's an early bird special, which means for today and today only, or while stocks last, you've got it at $6.99. This isn't a gadget, this is so, so useful. Um, this was one of our products actually that we had over at Previous Life as Sewing Quarter and we said we've got to get these back in. You can keep up to 10 pre-stranded needles like this so you've already maybe you struggle doing your own needles and you've got somebody else to do it you could put your embroidery floss in here you can do your sash go thread you don't just need to do your regular 50 weight but if you're doing EPP if you're doing binding um, and stitching it down if you want to hand quilt if you want to uh, do some uh, applique and a hand stitch it down needle turn applique this is perfect you're not Having an exposed pincushion, if you have got children around or pet pets about that love getting involved in your stash and your sewing. So this is really, really useful. Now, this is cat. If, if, and I say if, you get in a tangle, you can literally open it, spin that round. It says which way to do it. Open it and take it apart. Cat has had hers for years and uses it all the time. And she says, Vic... Don't even say that because I've never had to do it. Never had to do it. She says, I've had to whip needles out of here really quickly on quick changes at a theatre show and um, never had a tangle. Never, ever had a tangle. So the way it works, can you see that each of these, I'm calling them like fins. I call them fins. Stuart Hiller calls them um, whirly gigs. There are fins on a whirly gig. Can you see it spins around and it's got the most satisfying sound? Just listening to that for a second. Um, they're all numbered as well. So what you do is you pop your needle into those little slots here. Can you use different size needles, Kat? Have you tried using different size needles? So then am I going over the fin? Ah, hang on, let me spin myself back round again. So I'm gonna go, ah, I've missed the, hang on. <laughs> this is hilarious. Under the fin, over, under the fin, over the latch. And then it will catch under this fin here, like that. Spin it. I don't need to hold on too tight. 
You can use short threads, longer threads, it doesn't matter. You can do that for 10 different um, pre-sorted threads. And look, they're numbered as well. So if you do want to make yourself a little key, if you, if you are doing a particular project that have got very similar shades of pink, for example, you could do that. Pop your lid on, that's all secure. Take it on the move, keep it in your handbag, um, take it on the train. Obviously, um, I was going to say take it on holiday on the plane, but have a look at the airline's detail of taking needles and things like that. But um, have a look at the individual airline details. But you could certainly put it in your suitcase to take on your holidays, can't you? Have it ready. When you're on a sun lounger, you're not having to take, you know, lots of thread with you, reels of thread. You don't need to take your whole sewing kit with you. You don't have to ask somebody else to, to help you um, thread the needle or be squinting trying to do it whilst you sipping on a pina colada, it's already done for you. So then when you come to use your thread, you literally pull the needle out. You don't need to do anything with the thread. It literally comes out, no tangles, no knots. How easy is that? And then once you're done with it again, it means as well when you've got the end last bits of thread, what happens to this? When you've got your spools and you get to the very end of it, what do you do with the end of it? Do you keep it wrapped around the spool? I'm asking a question, what do you do? Yeah, what do you do? Kat says, I don't know, I've got one of these. This is what I do with the ones that are running out as well. So that again is all really nicely um, tucked away in its own section. So even when you've got 10, they are not going to get tangled with each other, which I just find genius. What an amazing idea. £6.99, add it to your order. Hundreds have already gone. We've got the biggest quantity we've ever had. Uh, the last time it was on air at this price point, it was a manager special. We made sure we had loads of them. They all sold out straight away. Um, so we've made sure we've got double the quantity, over double in fact. But if you're just tuning in, don't worry if you've had a lie-in. Um, it was today's early bird special. Um, make the most of that whilst you can. Loads of you nad adding multiples to your order. Definitely, definitely. So I just uh, flashed the little Gutemann threads. You saw the deal. We're going to do them individually, but we also have a little bit of a bundle for you. Now they come in the lovely little tins. I love these. Right, let me just show you. I like the small packs as well. We've seen some of the larger packs and don't get me wrong, they're great value for money as well, but um, you might not need loads and loads of colours. Spring is just around the corner, isn't it? These are beautiful spring tones. If you get the Annie's Quilting book, um, the Annie's Quilting book's a great price as well. You could get the Annie's Quilting book and some lovely threads and that would be a beautiful gift. And they come with these vintage um, sort of adverts as well on the tin. But you've got all of your 50 weight Gutemann polyester threads, perfect for your hand sewing, great for your machine quilting, for your, for your piecing, um, for applique, for free motion. The great thing about 50 weight is that you can virtually use it for everything. You can use it in your bobbin use it for your EPP. You've got that lovely bright spring orange and green. This one's beautiful. It's like an aqua tone. They're all numbered. So if you do want to go back to Gutemann uh, and get more of them, uh, of course you can. Um, they are Gutemann, fantastic quality. Th that was always one thing that I was sort of very aware of when I first started sewing was everybody was talking about the threads and I hadn't really even thought about it. I thought, oh, well, thread's thread, isn't it? But, oh, no, if you're using, of course, if you're making something that you want it to last and you want your seams to be strong, if you're working with some of your favourite designer fabrics and you want to make sure that they last, think about what threads you're using as well. 16. <coughs> 99, excuse me, and they're all 100 meter spools. Which means, should we do the math? Um, will you do the math, Kat? Sorry, I'm just going to have a sip of my water. I've got a little tickle. <coughs> excuse me. Thank you. Right. Um, so, 16.99. <coughs> yeah, divided by eight. £2.12 a spool, really good to say you've got your tin as well. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. One second.
about that. Something just, I just definitely got some thread in my throat or something like that. Right, it's a bit of fluff. So the um, bright, so let's have a look at these colours. Um, 16.99 again, great price for quality thread, 100 metres of each. I'm opening all these packets. I don't know if I'm going to get told off. Oh no, I'll make sure they go back nicely. These are now limited. And these ones, oh, look at the colours. Bright rainbow, beautiful colours as well. Oh no, I've got the raspy voice that, <laughs> that says I've just had a big cough. Oh, look at the colours. <laughs> right, so you've got all of your beautiful bright. You've got your yellow. These are obviously, you, you had your, your pastels. These are the brights. They're lovely for spray. And then... I'm going to call them uniform colours. These are going to be lovely for, for, for your everyday sewing. Um, don't get me wrong, it's good to match in your threads, but sometimes, sometimes you want them to stand out for your applique, for example, and sometimes you don't want to see your stitching at all. So, for example, if you're doing EPP, Cat always uses grey, as it's a great blender between them. I like that one as well. That's a nice sort of um, taupe minky colour, isn't it? So you've got a navy blue, a black, a white, a brown, a red as well. <laughs> Very nice. So they're the three tins, but also, do you want all three? Do you want all three and do you want a discount? Five pounds saving on this one today. 45 pounds, 97 pence. You've got your, um, you know, your everyday colours. You've got your beautiful brights and you've also got your pastels for £45.97. That's 24 threads in total. <laughs> Saving of £5. Oh, they've got a delay in the office and they've just heard me going, oh no, I'm going to have a cup. They've just come in to offer me water. I have got water and coffee, thank you. I'm fine now. It's all gone. It's all over. Drama over. Um, oh. He hasn't seen that yet. He hasn't seen it. There's a, a bit of a delay in the office. Cat thought we were going to get told off for doing a, a reduced price on Gutemann threads, but they haven't quite got to that part yet. Uh, Forty-five pounds and ninety-seven pence. I tried to distract it. I did a distraction mechanism of having a cough. Uh, Forty-five pounds and ninety-seven pence for all of those. Five pounds saving today. <gasps> oh no, we are going to get into trouble. Ah, oh, 24 threads, so useful to have. Of course, if you are, um, you do, you get through it, don't you? You do get through your threads. Ah, oh. right. Um, Kat, where is the nail oil? You took it, didn't you? She says, I can see it. Uh, oh! It's peeking under here. Um, so, Kat this morning said, oh, has anybody got any of the nail oil? My hands feel really dry. I think oh, at this sort of time, uh, when she, for when she was going on air, uh, at this sort of time of year, especially through winter months, it really takes its toll on your hands. And it's actually got colder, hasn't it? Colder than December. So, the nail oil, I cannot recommend enough. I absolutely love it. It's not been in stock. Um, since Jan, like, oh no, December in fact actually, before Christmas, the 4th of December this sold out. We got it in with Karen on her show and it completely sold out. It's a beautiful luxury product at twenty one ninety nine um, for the amount of different ingredients that go into it, for all of the benefits that it has. Um, it is designed to soften, to, to nourish and to restore particularly dry, dry skin and nails. It doesn't necessarily need to be for your nails, um, you can use it on elbows, on knees, on heels of your feet or ankles. Uh, I know that I remember Hayley back last summer, she says, I took it on holiday, put it all on my legs and it got all like lovely glowy summer legs. Um, and it goes a really, really long way. You literally only need, it's in a little pipette. You don't even need to squeeze the pipette. Just drop it into your cuticles and give yourself a lovely little hand massage and just work it into your nails. And it is designed to really help strengthen your nails. Use it before, um, 
before bed, use it before your hand cream and it will all soak in beautifully. It is designed with sewers in mind as you can see which I love. So if you're after a gift for somebody, I've got in my downstairs bathroom the seams, um, a, a hand cream, a nail oil and it is so beautiful. You only need a little bit to just be able to give yourself a bit of a pamper. $21.99 for anybody who maybe does struggle with their nails and uh, you know weak brittle nails this is perfect for that. Um, it's got macadamia nut oil in just to make you aware but it's the, the macadamia nut oil and the rosehip oils that are designed to soften. Uh, the rice bran oil is to condition. Blackcurrant seed oil it is, is designed to even skin tone as well. The peony root extract nourishing uh, beautiful, beautiful ingredients. Um, it also has the most gorgeous scent. It's amber cocoon scent, which is almost like their flagship sort of scent now. You've, uh, if you've used the hand gel or the, the hand cream, it's perfect. I mean, it's not just for ladies. Men, this is absolutely brilliant gift for men. Um, Kieran has, he's a, my husband is a tradesman, so he gets really bad calluses. He gets really bad um, on, on, on the, his hands and blisters, and he absolutely loves these Seams products. John uses it as well it's non-greasy it's non-greasy and that's the main thing especially if you're sewing you don't want to transfer residue onto lovely fabrics so we've got to look after our hands haven't we I think we sort of forget about them um, and you, you they're the, the tools of your trade if you're a sewer uh, so yeah we've got to look after them fantastic have a watch back 4th of December if you want to see Karen talking about it the inventor of seems that she actually came in with this. Now, um, I haven't been here for ages, and those of you that watch across um, uh, here and our sister channel as well, you've probably seen me over there quite a bit. And um, I love native lighting. I always have really championed Claire, and we're really, really, we, well, we're really particular in what lights we bring on, if I'm honest. There are a lot of different companies out there, and we've chosen to just solely use native lighting because they are brilliant products. Um, now, John Scott's got one of these, but also the reason that I wanted to do it today is that over the weekend, last weekend, uh, jewellery maker royalty, Mark Smith, who, by the way, is coming on air here in March. I've asked Hayley if I can do the show with him because he is the most amazing cross-stitcher as well. Like He'll be such a fabulous teacher for us over here. But anyway, he's a, a beader, a sea beader and a bead embroidery is amazing over at Jewellery Maker. It was his 50th birthday show and on Sunday and what did he choose to bring on his show native lighting it flew out we take it for granted I actually marched on air it was the show before me and I said these are our lights where have you got these from these are ours from sewing street and everybody was absolutely cooing over them at jewelry maker problem is is now that obviously other hobbies um, and different obviously with Hobby maker coming soon. We are not the only ones who are going to want this. And we have such a great relationship with Claire, but of course, we can't sort of bag see them all. The reason that I say it is do not miss out on our split pay, do not miss out on the stock that we've got currently, because once they're gone, I do not know when we're going to be able to get them back. So, we currently have, I'm going to be frank with you, we've got four of the white, two of the black. Um, that's it, that is it. So, the black. We can pro we'll, we'll get more back in, absolutely. They come directly from Claire, so if you do want them, they'll come directly from Native Lighting, but under our P &P. Now, they come in a really lovely, slim package. It's really lightweight, so it's easily transferable into different rooms. And if you don't have much space, it's so streamlined and slim. It's got a really slim, lightweight base. Um, so it, it doesn't really take up much room at all and you can literally fold this down however which way you want um, to keep it out of the way. So this part is, is completely sort of solid and rigid and then um, from the touch panel which is there, I don't know whether you can see that Charlie if I'm too high, but you've got the touch panel here, it also comes with a remote control, it's got your touch buttons, it's got a power button, it's then got a colour button so you can change the colour of the light um, to warm, to cool, to um, like a mixed lighting as well. I think there's five different colours and for each colour 
there are five different brightnesses. So you can go through each colour and choose which one is right for you in the time of day, if you're colour matching, if you're reading, however you're using it. But my favourite thing about this lamp, and the reason that I think so many of us love it, you can use it at a sofa, you can use it by a bed, you can use it by your sewing machine. There are so many different uses because of this. Now this gooseneck is so bendy and flexible and it stays put. It doesn't droop, it doesn't slowly collapse, it doesn't, you know, hold in uh, only a couple of angles. You can literally loop de loop it if you want. You can do it however you want, position it next to your sewing machine. If you don't have much light on your sewing bed, there is so much that you can do with these lights. It's LED. So one, you don't need to change the bulbs. It doesn't give off any heat. It evenly distributes your light. Um, so I think we've got to think about the conditions we're working in. It takes strain off your eyes if you're working in the right environment, having the right light. Um, even just to have uh, light when you're watching the television, even if you're reading a book and you don't want to disturb somebody who, who is watching the telly or doing something else, you've got that direct light on you to, to read, read the newspaper or read your book. To colour match as well is so important and I didn't realise how different it can be by working in different lights. So I love these, I mean they are investment but they are real quality. Um, I can't say too much but the jewellery maker lot know about these. So they are, they sold 60 on Sunday in a heartbeat. 60 of each colour sold in a heartbeat and um, yeah they're definitely going to want more so we aren't always going to be top priority is what I'm saying. Oh, we were so lucky to have them for so long and we will make sure that we always ask Claire if we can get more um, but I just wanted to warn you that um, of course we're not the only company that want these, we're, obviously they're our sister channel so we're, we're happy to share with our siblings. But you know when you share something with, with a sibling and you're like, oh, I really want it back now, it's mine. I, t I told you about that and now you're, you're you know, singing and dancing about it, it's ours. So now we only have one black, one black left. And we also have four of the white. Have you plugged this one in, Kat? Oh, you are ever so good. So I want to show you as well, they all come with a remote control. So if you, um, I don't know whether... Is my, has it got, have I got batteries in? Let's have a go and see if it works with it. So there's different timers on here. You can, um, oh, let me just move that so it doesn't glare. Um, it's got a 60 second timer. I believe they come with batteries in and everything at home. Um, you just need to pull the little tab out the back and th they will come with batteries in. Right, so you've got the 60 second timer and a 10 minute timer. Um, you've got your brightness up and brightness down. You've got your colour up and colour down. This one, the moon gives you like a nice um, night sort of setting for reading. You've got 20% brightness, um, you've got 50% brightness and you've got 100% brightness and then here you've got your warm, your cool and your mix as well. So this is really, really useful if you, you, you're not, you know, directly sat next to, if maybe this is behind a sofa or um, behind a chair, then that's ideal to have the remote control as well. But the light, what I'll do is I'll try and face it towards you. Sorry, squeaking. Um, if, I, if I'm doing this, can you see the different colours? Mm. Maybe if I do it onto a piece of fabric. What do you think? If I do it onto this fabric, then you should be able to see the different colours. Um, just so you know, we are very, very limited on both colours now, so do make the most of it. So if I'm flicking through the different colours, oh yeah, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? So they're the different colours, five different colours, and each colour has five different brightnesses. So that's the lowest uh, brightness, five different brightnesses. Let's keep on the brightest setting and go through. Look at that, it's crazy, isn't it? The difference in colour. Um, depending on your light. So to be able to have for each colour setting five different brightnesses is so useful, so, so useful. And you can find there isn't necessarily 
um, the right light for a certain thing. It's just finding the right light um, setting for you. So we love the Lumina Gooseneck. I know John Scott has this. It just depends what colour do you want. I know the black is quite nice for... Well, it depends on what decor your is, actually. I think the black's completely sold out. Three in baskets um, go on the wish list, or if you want the white, there are... How many of those left? Four of the white. Four of the white. Um, I think for so long we only saw sort of white craft lamps, so that the blacks are that they're very very popular. Uh, today though, the only availability we have now is on the white, which I still absolutely love. And Claire says still very very popular. Uh, it just depends on your decor. These will look lovely in your craft room, but then maybe taking them to. Um, uh, the lounge, a bedroom, to the garage, and it is really portable, really portable. One hundred and sixteen ninety nine, or on split pay, amazing. Now we have two other lights. Uh, they will come, by the way, straight from Claire. Uh, so just remember, if you've bought anything else, they will come separately, but all still under the one P and P. There's only three of the white left now. Oh gosh, this is it. I just wanted to let you all know because. Jewelry maker will definitely be nabbing Claire's stock next time. So I don't know how long it's going to be until I don't know how long it's going to be until we manage to uh, to get more. That's my only concern. You see, we'll we'll all be under the same roof soon, so we can keep going in and be like, right, give us our Lumi the lights back, can't we? Right, shall I go over and have a look at the other lights? Come on over. I've got two completely different lights here. The ring light. And we also have the magnifying lamp. Now, let's start with the magnifier. I love this. Do you know the reason why? Because look, this has got the best reach all the way across. Imagine if you're doing a quilt and you want to get a full reach across the whole of the desk like that. It is an absolute brilliant sweep. Um, I've got a bit of a concern. So they launched the native lighting, March's birthday. They had one product and it was that one, the floor lamp, Lumina Desk Lamp. They are absolutely going to call for a whole show of native lighting after ha the success of the Lumina. This is ideal for seed beading. This is ideal for any jewelry making, for cross stitching, for any of your crafts. But what I love is how flexible. Again, it's not the gooseneck. Um, but the, this hinge, I mean, it spins just seamlessly, doesn't it? It's got such a smooth sweep. Um, so I haven't got the screw in at the moment, but you can actually secure it to a place. You can secure it to a place. It's got a really thick clamp. So if you're working on a bench, if you're working on a desk, um, then it does have a three inch deep um, clamp. The reach, is 47 inches so it can reach right across the desk um, it can flatten right down it's so versatile i'm t putting it to its test seeing how flexible it is it comes with the cover as well but then you've also got a 10 inch diameter magnifying glass and lamp so the magnifying is um one point Seven five times magnification. Sorry, my light is glaring on it. What I'll do is I'll turn that off so you can just see from our lights, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go overhead so I can see. The lens size is seven inches, which is absolutely huge. I actually think that that's the biggest magnifying glass that native lighting does. Um, it's got all the different wing nuts so you can adjust however you want it. If you are doing any embroidery and you just want to set yourself up or, or reading instructions, how good is that? In fact, let me find some. Yes, please. Um, but if you are doing any uh, embroidery, I mean, look at that. Look how big my diamond looks <laughs> under the magnifying glass. Um, and what else is great with it is that it has the light. So you can see here, reading music maybe at the piano, Derek. Not only does it have the magnifying, look at that, the difference. Not only does it have the magnifying glass, it also has a ring light. It looks glary here, but it's because we've got all of the studio lights as well. It's just, oh my gosh, that is amazing. That is so good. 
<gasps> Do you know what I haven't tried doing yet, Kat? Which, which, my nails, this would be really good to doing nail art, wouldn't it? I also thought my eyebrows. I want to plump this against the mirror and do your makeup. Oh, this is brilliant. Um, it also has, by the way, I'm getting very excited about this. Um, not only does it have the magnifying glass and the light, which is LED, like a ring light, just like what we're going to see. If I just loosen this wing that I can show you. Look, so you've got the LED lights. Don't need to change the bulbs. You also can change the colour. So I'm now pressing the, the colours. It's difficult to see on screen. Um, but they're the temperatures, they're all the cool ones. And then what's the eye one then? <gasps> that's the colours, look. So the eye one, the eye button is a touch button and that's your, your colours. Hang on. And then this one is the brightness. So you've got brightnesses as well. How useful is that? <gasps> Again, if you're doing anything that you just need, a bit of help uh, with... I think cross stitch, this is perfect. If you're working on linen for the first time and you need to be able to see those squares, then this is absolutely ideal. Um, technical features on the Native, uh, Native Lighting website, you can look at these at any point, but there you go. It has got the clamp fixing, the colour temperatures, the magnifying of uh, 1.75 times, and three different brightness settings. <coughs> Excuse me, three colour temperature emitted from LED bulb um, range from 2700K. All right, these are all very technical features. Uh, three brightness levels available for each colour temperature, high quality glass lens, 1.75 magnif uh, magnification, a flexible arm to ensure that user can work freely around the lamp. It's absolutely brilliant got any questions about it head over have a look on native uh, lighting's website also claire is on all social media she's brilliant at getting back to you she's uh can, i'm sure can answer any of your questions so i love that what do you think okay just wanted to tell you about that cats <laughs> i'm gonna say before our lovely sister channel get hold of it uh, she's not jealous or bitter but she's saying i just wanted to show you before they start taking every every single one of our native lighting products uh, but that's very very exciting now i just bought this i'm so excited um because i've just bought this and i thought for my it's <laughs> it inspired me this morning to do Facebook, uh, Facebook pictures. We've taken selfies today. I tried to do a reel like Adele Rowland. It didn't go very well, but I'll learn how to do it. Um, but also, so in my uh, new house, we're going to set up like a bit of a, a dressing room so I can have all of my hair dry and my hair things and, you know, all to getting ready. But it's, it's, it's not very big, so I haven't got um, a, a space really to put a lamp or anything like that. It would have to be a tiny lamp. So what I love about this is it gives such a great spread of light. Ideal for getting ready, yes. Ideal for, you know, taking pictures and family pictures. But what I thought was amazing about this was the price so a few weeks ago one of my friends she set up um, a makeup uh, shop in Leamington Spa so I said I'll come along on one of your courses and went on one of the little workshops and they had ring lights there and she said oh if you want to invest in a ring light these ones are brilliant they're 120 pounds and it comes with all the different filters that you can change and I was like oh no 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 I need to tell everybody about native lighting you don't need to change any filters they're all built in so you've got your on and off button here. They're all touch buttons. You've got your brightness plus, your brightness down, and then you've got different modes. So if I press that, can you see up on cool light? And it's, oh, it's, and there's your mix light. So you've got the warm, you've got four, one, two, three, four different color lights there. And each one, you can change your brightnesses. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, have you seen, have you tried out some of the hilarious filters and different filters you can put on your phones nowadays? But it's like you've got that all there. Don't get me, it just gives you the perfect lighting all the time. Um, Derek, he used this on his Facebook Lives. Always looks flawless, our Derek. Absolutely amazing lights. Very light, but sturdy. So yeah, that's another great thing is I don't have that much space. So it comes on a tripod. Um, in, in my um, little dressing room, I don't have much space, Kat. She's laughing at me saying, don't have much space. I don't. Um, and what I love about it as well, 
I'm getting very carried away, is that you can change different heights. I'm only five foot two, five foot two. Um, five one, but I say I'm five two. Uh, so you can adjust the height to however high you want it. Um, so you can put this onto a desk. You can also, Charlie, step aside, our director Charlie, because I can now put my phone into here. I wonder how many of our Search for Star entries had one of these actually, because they did some fancy filming, overhead filming and everything. And you can do that with this, so it can fit any of your phones as it stretches out if you've got a larger phone. Um, it also has uh, space here, let me just spin this down so you can see it's got space to put three different devices so if you are doing an Instagram live and a Facebook live if you're doing any of your tuition you can actually have both phones going at the same time two phones in there um, but look you can take that out completely if you want and just have it as a, as a nice light she uses it in a, a corner of her office she says it's quite a dark office so she likes it as a bit of a um, you know extra light so if I tighten that up then here you have got an overhead camera shot basically so you can start doing demonstrations from your phone and have a live overhead tutorial shot if you're doing any videos who's recently got one oh brilliant look who's got one jane jane greenoff i'm sure jane won't mind me saying um we've talked about this a lot actually she is probably one of the least technical people I've met and she loves this she's she's getting with the time she's doing all of her different tutorials and she's got a ring light I love it absolutely love it I mean we see these a lot in different industries now we can't um, uh, deny the world of YouTube Instagram TikTok is is just the way of the world so uh, most of you know that I'm a singer and um, me and Andy who's my guitarist we've said we really really need to think about upping our online content a bit more because that's where everything is nowadays isn't it and we said right every month we're going to set ourselves a bit of a goal of doing a video to go onto YouTube and so this will just make it look so much more professional having lovely lighting um, I know beauticians often use these anybody who is uh, maybe knows somebody who is going into beauty for eyelashes to have the light for makeup um, my hairdresser's got one I remember when I went and had uh, my hair done and they, they, they put the light and they do all the Instagram photos but yeah as I said I went to the, the, the makeup artist they've all got one perfect for that just for doing your, your makeup. I get up really, really early for the show. It's still dark, so it's perfect to be able to have a nice, bright, natural light, daylight, warm light, whatever light you want. You can change it up without changing the filters. So Jade, if you're watching, this is the one that I'm talking about. And it's on split pay for 31 99 It comes in a really nice carry case as well. With a Bluetooth clicker with a Bluetooth clicker so you don't even need to go and press the button. You can just stand there, click it and do a family picture. Rebecca Reed bought one. She does photos for magazines and normally they get sent back to her saying, not good enough, not good enough. And now she's got the, the, the ring light, she loves it. Morning Vicky, my daughter's got one for hairdressing before and after, perfect, brilliant. These are so good. As I said, I've got one. Um, we said that we'd start car as our bang on and we're digressing here but just so you know it comes in the, the the carry case as well with your bluetooth clicker if you've got any more questions get them in we're going to a break car is coming up right after this If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, 
click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. What's that? Oh, I know. Yes, I'm so sorry, Cara. Right, we're going to go straight into it because we made a sp special promise to Cara that we would be really speedy with this. So, book is in. It's eight ninety nine, brand new in. Already loads sold this morning on pre-order. Um, springtime sewing. Perfect time to be launching this. I am ready for spring now. Are you? Um, in fact, actually, my daffodils have started coming up in my front garden. Daffodils start. I didn't even know I had daffodils. I've got daffodils coming through in the garden. I'm so excited. So you've got here um, 20 plus projects for £8.99. I must say, I always love Annie's quilting books. I haven't seen a new one for so long. This is the first time we've ever had this on Sewing Street. Brand new in today. The peacock pincushion I love. <laughs> 
Um, Kat's saying, I take away everything I said about pink cushions. I love that. They could be so adorable, can't they? Um, there are some beautiful, oh, I love Dudley Dog. There are some really lovely projects in here. A mixer cover. Now, that's interesting. I had this conversation yesterday with my friend and she says, you don't have much on your work surface, do you? And I said, oh, it's, Kieran's got a bit of a thing about having loads of, um, you know, appliances out on the side. So if you were to make a cover, it makes it look prettier, doesn't it, on the side? Toaster covers or appliance cover. Chicken pot holder, that's cute. Um, very clever, very clever. Pincher pot holders, they're so cute. Um, also, what you've got in here, hang on, let me find it. Microwave bowls, always very useful. And these are all projects for everybody. It's a bit of skill, using all sorts of skills. Maybe you've just got the 680 plus on pre-order today. Um, you've got skills to try home furnishing, to do a bit of bag making, to do a bit of quilting. Look, you've got a quilt in there as well. You can pay 10 pounds just for a quilt pattern on its own. Um, fun, fabulous fabrics, look, storage caddies absolutely ideal and they're really lovely instructions great diagram step by step this is what we're working on today the garden gnome pillow i love it absolutely love it and it's just 8.99 this is so cute right bearing in mind it says 20 plus we're going to go conservative and say 20 projects you're looking 44 pence a project 44 pence a project that is so good even in the biggest of all clearances, we wouldn't be selling patterns at 44 pence, would we? Um, it does also go into a bit of detail with your raw edge um, fusible applique and also gives you binding uh, and quilting techniques at the back. So if you are starting out, I love Annie's quilting books. How affordable is that? Uh, really lovely gift ideas and nice little spring quick makes. Um, just £8.99 and it's brand new in today. Loads of you checking out. I'm so pleased that we've got a good quantity on those. Now, so there was a bit of a sort of a debate back and forth about the um, amount of, of quantity. So I think this has been reduced in price, thinking that it was wrong, and it's right. We've gone through it with Cara. So you've actually got this for 11 99 which is amazing value for how much you're getting. So, you get half a metre of your blue spot, which is beautiful, poplin weight cotton. You're then getting two fat quarters in your deep dark um, green, and you're also getting a fat quarter of white. Then, you're getting fat eights of all of these. Now, I'm just looking at the cushion. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Cara, for the pink. Have you only used the pink for the nose? Yes. Oh, so you get a fat eighth. But, I mean, you're, these are going to go such a long way. You could make loads of, uh, of cushions or loads of gnomes. or You could have a go at other projects from the book with, um, with this bundle. Because you get a fat eighth of the red, a fat eighth of the grey for his feet. You get a fat eighth of the pink for the nose. You then get the blue for his, um, his, his body. And then you get the green for the bottom of the, for the grass, basically on the bottom of the cushion. So, I mean, this is gonna go such a long way. For $8.99 for your book, and eleven ninety nine for all of that fabric, you're paying just over £20 for both, and this is going to go such a long way. What an amazing price, amazing price. Even if it's just for your stash, they're lovely colours, aren't they? To get, hang on, half a metre, two fat quarters, and five fat eighths, that is a lot of fabric for under £12. So we absolutely love it. Um, make sure you keep going through for that. We are going to dive straight into demo. Um, we want to talk about free motion with her later as well and, and a bit more about answering your questions about the machine. So, Cara, I know you love a plique. I do. I absolutely love it. I've really, really missed it. Really missed it. So it was so nice to have something different. Yeah. And have you um, worked with the Annie's Quilting books before? I don't think so, no. Oh, no, but they're great, um, aren't they? I just loved the fact that it's got all these spring projects yes. and the gnome cushion on the front is just gorgeous. So colourful. So oh, and colourful. you're into your gardening, aren't you? Well, my husband is more than me. <laughs> I, I do love. I'm just ready for spring now, so these are perfect projects to to start making in time. 
I bet it's lovely in your new house, getting all the plants sort of That's coming it. up and growing and things like that. I've not seen like them that. yet in no. the summer. No. So it's nice. To, we had um, a gardener come and get it ready for winter, cut it all back. And he said, you have got such beautiful plants in here. And I, I'm so excited to see them Wonderful. All. Wonderful. Yeah. This gnome cushion is lovely. So what techniques are we using? It is a plique, am I right? So it's a plique. So it's using Bonderweb. Yeah. Um, and... Um, I'll just show you know how you transfer onto the bonder web and what you do with the bonder web and then I thought right I will follow what they say in the actual book and it's raw edge applique mm -hmm. so it's actually using um, like a buttonhole stitch oh, okay, on yeah. um, the machine but there are op different options and um, you can do a little bit of free motion as well oh, so fantastic. I thought well we'll see how far we can get but um, nice. yes go for it yeah definitely right okay so um, what you'll do is you'll have a read of the instructions but then you've got all the templates they are life size and they are reversed so you don't have to do anything like that which is great I love that term life size I don't know why I've never said that before <laughs> they are life size gnomes <laughs> life size templates oh okay <laughs> so what you'll do is you'll take love your it. bond web you can see straight through your bond web yeah. and you'll be able to actually um, trace around the um, the shapes and everything so I'm just going to take I think I'll do it with the green I'll do it with the uh, where are we the leaf so we'll do a couple more leaves and you can play around with it you don't have to follow this exactly we've put a plain green for the bottom but if you've got some greens in your stash then you can easily make um, the squares at the bottom as they have done. Oh, okay. But then yeah. you can play around Actually with that it. again, and I'll show you how you can do um, some free motion there to oh, make it look nice. like um, grass and stuff. So you'll take your bond web, you'll put the um, slightly sticky side down, and then you'll draw around the leaf. I use a crayon. Um, just from the point of view that when I use a pencil or where I, when I use a biro or a pen, um, I get it all over my hands. I don't know why. I must be just messy. Um, so I just do it with a crayon. Um, then you'll cut roughly around the shape. You won't cut on the line. And the reason why you do that is that you want the glue to go to the edge before you actually cut it out. Okay. So then you'll take... Did you just say this, but you haven't used a friction pen, have you? No, no. <laughs> As I say, I use um, a crayon because crayon. it's just much, much easier. Right, so I'll take a piece of this Half gorgeous... The the book's gone. Are you kidding? This is brand new in today. Oh, we normally get these books and they last for... I mean, months and months and months and months. So then we do loads of projects. Half the stock of the book is already gone. Brand new, eight ninety nine. It's such good value, isn't it? Ridiculously really, good. really good value. So then you'll take the um, wrong side of your fabric and you'll lay your pattern piece onto the wrong side with the slightly sticky side of the bonder web. And what you can do is use an applique mat. I think you've got that. Oh, um, I do. Over there. Yeah. yeah. Why do we need an applique mat? Um, just from the point of view, and I will tell you what happened to me was. Um, when you actually apply um, the fabric to the base fabric, um, I always use an applique mat. I, I tend to get into the habit of it because sometimes you might have done it wrong and you might have put that down with the it's glue side way. up. Oh, and if you iron. go and put your iron on it, it mm. will make your iron all sticky. So, um, you know, just I get into the habit of just doing this. It also means that you can actually leave your iron on there for a little while. Have you ever had to replace your applique mat or does it, can you use it and use it and use um, it? And I've use used it? this one so many times and I have used it where I have put the glue up and I thought, oh no, I've ruined it. But um, if you turn it over, put some paper or something on your ironing board and iron it and it just melts it again and you can oh, actually peel, peel the glue off. So. £6.99 for your applique mat, it's a hemline one and it's, it's a good size as well, it's, it's 12 inches. Okay, so then you'll take your leaf. Sorry about the queue, by the way. There's loads of you who just called the customer service team all in one go, but you're, um, you're about <laughs> to be answered, so stay where you are. So then you'll cut on the line now. 
You've still got the paper backing on the bond web. And then you'll let that cool down. Was that from a game show, Cat? Handsets at the ready. What was it that you just said? Finger steady. Oh, I don't remember that. I've not heard that one. No. I think she's made I think it it's up. It's a game show or something. I don't know. <laughs> I think she's made it up. So you'll do that with all your pieces. And in the instructions, it does um, explain what you cut. This is a, a fantastic project for a beginner. Yeah. Because it's not too complicated fantastic. at all. Um, so it does explain very, very clearly what you're um, actually cutting out from each of the fabrics. And you will have lots of fabric left over, which is fantastic. So all my pieces now I've cut out. And this is the fun part where you assemble it. Little hint, don't take the backing off the white fabric yet mm -hmm. because when you take the backing fabric off the white fabric um, you can't tell whether it's glue or not and that's what I did mm -hmm. so on that one one of the petals was the wrong way up so again I was okay because I actually used my applique mat ah. so um, but it's fine it's absolutely fine but yes with the white ones or any light color I tend to not take the um, paper off the back yet so we've got all the pieces now um, I want to take and they do explain very clearly in the instructions. As I say, we've got a plain green at the bottom, but if you want to, from your stash, you can take some of the mm -hmm. different greens and everything and make a nice little patchwork base. And then you want to place, this will be the first thing that you place, so the stem. So you want to take the paper off the back. Well, I'm thinking with the amount of fabric that you get, especially those fat eights, how much you actually use, you, you can, can make a couple. If you're using your stash for, you know, the back of your cushions and the other bits, then you'd be able to make, yeah, definitely. You can make a couple of these. For 11 99 that is so good, isn't it? It's really, really good. And as I say, this um, will encourage you to want to do more applique. So you want to position, so your stem will be just matching up the edge there. And then um, she does give some information about measurements. So if you want to be completely accurate, you can actually measure, you know, the position of that. Oh God, but I yeah. found that, you know, you can do it by eye, really. Um, I'm going to move that over slightly. And this part I would tend to um, do onto your ironing mat or onto your ironing board because... You, what you don't want to do is actually lift that up and move it oh, and that's all the pieces point. go all over the place. So um, you'll take your leaves and we've got how many leaves have we got? So one, you're two, not three, pressing four, that now, you're no, going to continue yep. creating your picture yes. on your ironing board so that you, yeah, because you imagine you're doing all the leaves, you put everything out and then as soon as you pick it up, gust of wind with a window open or something comes and you just literally yeah lose all your pieces it's not too bad um what you can do is if you, if you don't want to put it on your ironing board or you don't want to um or you haven't got an ironing mat if you've got a big piece of card or something like mm -hmm. that you can lay it on there then take that over and then take the card out oh, yeah, good and idea. then you're left um you know with the pieces in position so i'm just taking the paper off the back which is very easy to do and we've got five petals but you can play around with the number of petals. You don't have to um, just stick with the five. You can play around with the colours. You can put your leaves mm. in the different green if you want. Will just one pack of bond web be enough? Just a little yes. one as opposed to the roll. I think the roll is on the website. We were supposed to do it in the last hour. It's on the web. But um, the pack of bond web, if you are starting out and just having a bit of a play, it's two ninety nine. But as Cara said, it will make you want to do more yes. PK. So if you do want the roll it's on the web it's addictive yes. it's definitely addictive and it's such fun and um oh i know um, you know i've i did i hadn't done much until i'd done the helen newton cushions and you know you just can think about lots of different things that you can make and everything so so then you'll um place your leaves in position then um there's an end just show it there the end of the stem there, which is where the daisy is. So we'll just pop that in position as well. So use your book, um, you know, to help guide you as to the position of all the things. There will be some overlap as well. 
Oh, but make it your own as well. And yes. Like you said, it's, it's exciting. The, this gives you a bit of a base, and especially with all those fabrics. But you could add some felt in there. You yes. could embellish with embroidery or, like we say, with the free motion. There's so much you can do with this. And, you know, with beads and different things oh, like that, nice. you can make it all, um, you know, if you make want to own. do your flowers, you can do some flowers sort of in the bottom section and add some beads and yeah. different things like that. So I'm just going to roughly place this in position and then I'll make sure I make my final move before I iron. So then we've got his lovely hat, which is so bright and colourful. It's just so nice. So I know that gnomes are very, very um, popular in people's gardens. I know lots of people have gnomes in their gardens. Yeah. Um, they're just so such cheery things. Yeah. Aren't they? <laughs> oh, I definitely need to get a gnome for my garden. Definitely. <laughs> so I've got the beard there, and then his this is his face and beard. Although most of his face is actually underneath. The hat. Ah, oh, so this is what you're saying about this slightly overlap. Yes. So, yeah. If you were to press them all down, you yeah, then you yeah. wouldn't be able to get that, would you? So now I'm right actually order. going to um, take the white off. Does uh, the book tell you what order to do them? Um, no, there is a you're guide, following the guide, but I'm following the picture. Yeah. Um, it just sort of says do it first, place everything first before you actually iron. The moustache overlaps. Can you imagine actually doing this um, in Christmas fabrics at oh, Christmas yeah. time, which would be really nice. Well, that's it. I mean, it's spring time sewing, but a lot of the time it's spring because of the fabrics they've used. Yes. There's lots of these projects that don't necessarily, you know, shout spring. You've got in here, um, like your, look, there's a jar opener. How handy mm -hmm. is that? Need that all year round. Uh, microwave bowl closes, you could do different fabrics. The market tote bag, you can do again. The quilt, um, the, you can do that in any fabrics. There's less than 30 books available now, just so you know. £8.99 and your bundle of fabric is 11 99 Just whilst I'm here, Michelle, I have seen your question on the Facebook page. Is the ring light suitable to take pictures of work carried out? So you can put your phone in it and it comes with a Bluetooth clicker to take any photographs. So if that answers your question, then yes, absolutely. Um, or if you're filming something on your phone, it obviously won't, the light won't take pictures. You'll need to add your phone to it. Um, but there is the little holder for, for, for your phone. But it's a great light. I absolutely love it. I love it. Um, so if you've got any more questions, just so you know, I think there's five of those left and that's it. There's one... Uh, of the Lumina floor lamps in white, the black sold out, and I think there is still more of the magnifying glass at the minute. So, what if you've got anything today? So, I'm just um, making sure, I'm hoping that I've got the glue side in the right position. So, we'll just bring that down a bit, slightly. And you want the petals underneath the bud that's on the stem there and you want them overlapping each other so it gives a more three-dimensional effect so we think that's about right amazing so as I say it's a very very quick project so I'm not going to move it now um, I'm hoping that I've got it all the right um, way up and everything I'm going to pop my applique mat over the top see for 6 99 just to know that nothing's gonna then you know wriggle out the way or, or, or get glue on your iron uh, it's not 6.99 every time you use it it's just you know pay once and then that's yes. it you've got it yeah and it just transfers the heat through and again you know maybe if you've got um a slightly fine fabric that mm. you're um appliquing on it protects the fabric as well i mean these are 100 percent cotton i suppose so. similarly if you're using you know felt or things like that and you want to make sure that you they're designed for this, aren't they, for this purpose? Yes. And um, where you've got more than one layer, you want the heat to permeate through and actually release the glue on the back of the fabric. So where um, we had his nose, we had the moustache, we had his face, um, there's more than one layer there. 
So, word of the day, permeate. Oh, that's a new word to me, permeate. <laughs> Sink through. I think it's the right word. I'll be like, no, Mrs. yeah, that's a good word. Good word. <laughs> I'm standing in the gallery. Uh, Michelle says, thank you. I love native lighting. Oh, they're amazing, aren't they? By the way, I haven't just put this on because I'm chilly. I've put it on because I absolutely love it. And Sam Sabido is here. I've seen it on the um, on the Facebook page. I was like, I just need that cardi. So I keep saying to Kat, will you let me know when Sam's here? Can I try this cardi on? Because it's amazing. On your lane today. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. Whoops. Dropped my microphone. Sorry. So once you've actually... Um, use the applique mat you can go over it again um, i would normally have maybe a slightly bigger iron there i'm going to turn that around so i can put the pressure on because you want the um to release the glue so that the fabric is in position so spend a bit of time making sure that you know everything is in position and I'm hoping oh no it. the book's gonna sell out <gasps> we definitely didn't get enough books in we're right if you want it there's 30 of you who've got it in your basket there's only 15 left don't wait to the end of the demo to check out on the book it's just eight pound 99 features the lovely gnome cushion but also over 20 more projects I do like that peacock, uh, the peacock pin cushion. I know, is that, is that the felt one? Yeah, yeah it's well, really pretty. Nice, isn't it? There's yes. different fabrics to work with as well. Different techniques to learn, a bit of quilting, some bag making, some applique, working with felt, it's all sorts. So I'm just going over that, as I say, with the iron. Now that I know that um, I've got it the right way up, I'm not going to get um, glue on the iron or anything. Right, here's the uh, moment of truth. Oh, there we go. yeah, all adhered. So, there he oh, is. Ta -da! How quick is that? <laughs> I know. It's so know. effective. Such a lovely gift for somebody. So, the next part is actually um, the raw edge applique. So, I want to show you that there are different methods of doing that. And right, I actually, so when you say raw edge applique, what so, does that mean? So, the fabric, there's a whole section, if I find it here. Um, for page 63. Oh, it's right at the back. Yeah, yes, I see it. Yeah. yeah, so it will go through raw edge fusible applique. So it, the fabric is the raw edge. You haven't turned it under. Mm -hmm. And then um, you've got the bond web or a fusible um, fabric that mm -hmm. you're using. And then it takes you through all of that. So if you've never done it before, it will take you through. Oh, great. Um, so you can either stitch with a straight stitch or you can do a buttonhole or a blanket stitch or you can do free motion or you can do it by hand. So there's mm -hmm. lots of different ways of doing it. So that's what I love about this, is you've got the technique mentioned here, but you've got all the information at the back there. What does a buttonhole stitch look like? So I the buttonhole think. is sort of a straight stitch, and then it's got a line across. Like a blanket stitch? Like a blanket stitch. Right. So, um, so if you wanted to do it by hand, you'd use a blanket stitch. Oh, so yeah. But the machines have options on there, so I wanted to show you the different options. The other thing that I um, would do is um, you can either go straight onto that without any wadding mm -hmm. or anything like that, but I do like the effect. I'll bring the cushion down so you can see. Oh, it's very plush, isn't it? Yes. With the H640. Yeah. So what I would tend to do is, again, make a sandwich. Can I just... Yeah, grab it. I don't, it. Want, to, I don't want everything to fall. Oh, there we go. So this I've actually done this way. So I've put the H640, the wadding there. Then I've put some cotton fabric behind. And I just love the effect that it makes it just quilted, more quilted. Do you only use the H640 on the front of your cushion, not the back? Yeah, yeah just, just on, just the, on the, front. the front. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, this one has used my um, stitch, that I, my applique stitch at home on my machine. And this one might be slightly different. But then I did a little bit of free motion on the petals there. And that's where you can see um, sort of you've got a little bit more texture on the um, leaves there. Oh, yes. So, oh, I like that. So what we'll do is 
that's okay. Do you need to stitch it down? That bond web isn't going to hold it. No, I don't think it? it's going to be permanent. If it's a cushion that's going to be used, yeah. then um, I would tend to stitch it down um, somehow. So is that the back of the cushion or is that going to be the, just the back of the, the sandwich? The back of the um, sandwich. So you would use something maybe like an Elsa bag again or again, something from yes. your, your, your scrap? Yep. Definitely. Why do you need to do a backing on it? Do you think it would um, I just go into like, the feed dogs? Or? Yeah, I just like the effect. Yeah. I, I've done some without. You mm. don't have to have um, you know, anything on the back. But I've just found recently when I've done some of the Cat of the Months, um, I've put a fabric behind. And I don't know why, but it just seems to sort of push everything forward oh, a little nice. bit more. Oh, that's good. Um, rather nice. than it being, because um, on the H640, you've got the actual wadding part mm -hmm. is at the back. Yeah. So um, that would sink into the back of the cushion. Ah, So nice. because um, the glue's on the front, Yeah. Um, I've just found that if you put fabric behind that, it tends to lift everything up a little bit more. Oh, that's good that you've discovered that because I don't honestly, know whether it's I, well. Right I, I, the only not. reason I ask is that I know that you didn't used to do that with no. the uh, Helen Newton one. No. So now I was intrigued to know why. No, I just um, I'm getting I am getting closer to doing a quilt or something like that. So um, I'm trying lots of different things and finding out what I like, what I don't like. So. Um, this is just one of the things that I really do like the effect when you do that. So I'm going to, rather than spend hours, um, not hours, but spend a lot of time um, pressing the uh, backing onto the H640, I'm just going to pop a few pins in just to hold that in position. At home, you would then iron it, press it all yes. down. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to just trim off the excess. You can either trim off the excess now or wait until later. You can, because I'm not ironing it, um, I'll actually leave it until later. There's only four books left. It's about to sell out. We'd we'll love to see some of the projects oh, that people yeah, make. Definitely. Yes. So um, I've left the extra fabric around the edge because when you're actually um, quilting, it can bring it in slightly but because there's not a massive amount of quilting um, to the edge then you could actually trim it but if you wanted to do some quilting around mm. the um, the background the sky you can do and as I say if you wanted to do a little bit of free motion there you can do add little bumblebees add some oh flowers. my gosh the flowers yes oh, yeah yeah Keep get a bit carried away little uh, watering cans <laughs> do whatever you want good morning ladies I've just got my book Woohoo! I'm new to sewing I hope it will give me some inspiration oh. perfect because these are nice quick makes and I think when you first start that's what you want. You want to get that the satisfaction quite quickly. Well, I certainly do, because otherwise, if you start as your first project, you know, maybe the quilt, you'd think, oh, well, it takes longer. If you just start with something like this, you will get a bit addicted. It's really fun, really, really fun. And just stick to what they're, they're sort of suggesting in the book to start with. And then as you go through the book, you'll probably think, oh, actually, I'm going to use that instead, and I'm going to do this stitch instead. And you can, yeah, go with it. It's Very exciting. exciting, yes. I'd love to see what you make. Um, okay, so before anything, I would actually practice the stitches on some scrap fabric. Good idea. Um, just until you're happy with the size of the stitch, which stitch you're going to use. On this particular machine, there's quite a few stitches that you can use for the applique. Um, and I played around um, in the back room um, with the machine here. And I'm just going to show you, you know, the different effects that you can get until you're happy with the size and everything like that. Um, I ha the only thing I haven't done is put the wadding and the um, cotton fabric behind. So you had to go with the blanket stitch? Yes. I mean, you could use a satin stitch. You could use There's loads. 170 stitches on this machine, so oh I mean, you can play around with whatever ones you want. Yeah, definitely. Um, the other thing is, um, in the manual, which I've been having a look through, um, there's a little section on the applique and if I find it here, so oh, this is good. decorative stitching. So it will tell you which, um, so the pattern is in mode one, so you press until you get mode one mm -hmm. and then they're all the stitches between number 37 and 44. So you've got quite a few stitches Fantastic. that you can use, which is brilliant. 
The um, thread tension is auto, so that you ha don't have to do anything to that. But it will tell you that there's a different, and it is a satin stitch foot F. And the reason why that's different, if I get that one out, it's got a nice open and clear area so you can see exactly what you're doing um, which I think is brilliant because when you're wanting to go to the edge of the fabric you need to be able to see that very clearly and when you're pivoting around corners you want to see where the stitches stop yes. don't you yes you start. yeah so you get your um, foot F you take your other foot off and it's got the big space at the top there hasn't it so it allows your needle to swing from yes. side to side and we just pop that on it's I've got a nine millimetre stitch width as well, so you can get a really good um, swing, on it. Yes. swing on it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And the foot pressure, they actually suggest that you change the foot pressure to four. Oh, I've I never know. done that before. I know. That's, um, on my machine at home, it did the same. Okay. And I thought, okay, I'll go Have with go. it. Yeah. I'll go with it. So um, I don't tend to move no. these sort of things, you know. But This is why the manual is so good. Yes. And the other thing is, with this one, um, I'm actually going to use a brown, but on the model that I did, I matched the colours to the fabric, but I thought, well, for here, you'll be able to see it a lot better oh, if it's I like in a brown. to see the stitches on a plique as yes, well. Yes, yeah. It's a personal preference. So, we're going to actually have a go at the applique stitch. So, we are looking at... So I'm going to go with you, it's a shame, you can't see all of these, but I'm going to go with stitch 37. So I'm in mode one, so I'm going to change that to stitch 37. And I've got um, a width of 3.5 and a length of 2.5. So I'm going to do a bit and show you what it looks like. I mean, it's really clear to see that on your screen, isn't it? Yes. And so you have a play around with the one that's default and see if you want to change it at all. The other thing that I would suggest is that the needle's moved over and you're going to be um, stitching where the coloured fabric meets the background fabric. So you want your needle to actually be in that position. So that's where your stitching is going to go to the left hand side. So needle down and then... And again, I'm not touching it. <laughs> crazy it's literally feeding through itself and it's keeping straight my fabric wasn't completely straight so I'm going to show you I'm going to finish that one and show you so that's the size of the stitch at the moment okay mm -hmm. um, so I'm thinking because the pieces are quite small I'm going to keep the length of the stitch the same but I'm actually going to reduce the width of it so I'm going to come down to I'm going to try a 2.5 it might be too too narrow but, um, oh this is the great thing about this machine it's so quick to have a play and if you think I've pressed too many buttons you can literally just press C cancel and it will yes. automatically default back to its you know recommended stitch length stitch width so yeah have a play you're not going to ruin any settings How's that looking, Cara? Do you think that's looking better? It's looking very similar. <laughs> oh, no, it is a little bit. So that's a little bit narrower. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could definitely see. Um, I'm going to play around with it. I'm going to actually increase. So I've got 2.5 for the width, and I'm going to increase to 3.5 for the actual stitch length. It won't let you do anything you're not allowed to do. It won't let you do anything that's going to break it. It'll bleep at you if it's... It will bleep at you <laughs> if you do do something that yeah. it doesn't like. Yeah. Um, and, and that will make you think, oh, right, okay, what do I I'm need to do? not allowed to do, to do that, yeah. yeah. So, um, so if you want to change stitch width and stitch length like Carl is, it will let you do as much as the machine can do. And then if you go too far, it will bleep at you. So you know that you can't go further than... I think it's... What's the sti maximum stitch length then? It's five, isn't it? And I then nine it is. stitch width. yes. So that's a little bit wider. Oh, yes. Okay, nice. so I've got three options. So I've got the default one, mm -hmm. then the one that I did where I kept the length between the stitches the same as the default, but I reduced the width of the stitch. So you can see it there. And then there's this one. I'm actually going to go back to this one. And the reason why I'm going back to that one, because actually on the cushion itself, there are some areas that are quite tight going mm -hmm. round. 
So I'm going to do that. Um, so another option for um, the applique is just straight stitches. So um, we'll clear all of that. I'll just remember, well, I'll ask you to remember that it was 2.5. That's the one from the default. So, um, so I'm going to clear all of that. Um, I'm not going to change the foot because I'm going to come back to using it. Um, so this is just a normal straight stitch. So what you would do is you would, and this is where if you haven't got a machine that's got free motion or you haven't got a machine that's got, um, you know, any different stitches or anything, you can just attach using a straight stitch. And that will be perfectly all right to just do the straight stitch around the edge. The only thing is, is when you're going around curves and things like that, you'll have to lift your foot up mm -hmm. to keep going around the curves and everything. And over time, that would fray, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah. But I quite like that look as well. I do, I do, I really do. And then the other option is um, free motion. <gasps> Lots of people are scared of free motion. And we had messages in saying, can we see free motion? So we thought today's a good day to do it. Now you need to change not just the foot, you have to unscrew it, don't you? Yes. It's so easy to do though, and it's so worth getting the hang of because I love it. The I do. It's brilliant. I do. And there's a whole section on free motion in the um, manual. Fab. So, it comes with um, it all. It and, comes with all the feet that and you need. I was just going to say, so it comes with all of these. Uh -huh. Yeah, and there's different, it isn't just a free motion no. foot, there is, in fact, I'll show you the list of feet that come with it, because there's different, I think there's one that's a hopping, darling foot, or there's the different ones, there's like a collection of free motion, in fact, these are all the feet that come as standard, so they're all numbered as you just saw, the satin stitch foot that, that Kyra was using, you've got a zipper foot, a rolled hem foot, a standard foot, an open toe satin stitch foot, a blind hem foot, an overlocking foot, a quarter of an inch seam foot, a closed toe darning foot, open toe darning foot, even feed for automatic buttonhole, stabilising plate. That was the, um, oh, sorry, button sewing foot as well. And there's the circular pivoting pin uh, that somebody asked for earlier on. The quilting guide bar, quilting guide bar for even feed, a straight needle, uh, a straight needle uh, plate as well. So if you're just doing your piecing and you're not doing any of the, the fancy stitches or um, and alphabets or anything, just use that. Um, also all those additional bits and bobs. An extra wide extension table as well as standard. These are all things that, um, yeah, look, I mean, that you would have to pay extra for. A walking foot, Kyra was saying, is £50 yes. if you buy, buy one from Elna. A free motion foot, I think, is the same as well. So that's all included and you can pre-order it today. Remember, any day now it's coming into stock. And whilst it is on pre-order, uh, you get £50 credit to spend here in March. So honestly, I hate to rush or to pressure you, but today is the day to order it. Um, I don't know exactly when it'll be coming in stock, but we were told mid-Feb. It's now mid-Feb. I do know, we ask all the time, and they've said it's any day now. It could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be the weekend, it could be any day now. So definitely make the most of it. Okay, right. So these are all the different feet that I found in this little cubby hole here. There may be more, but um, you know, you look at them and you think, oh, gosh, but it, it takes you through very, very clearly how to use them. So I'm actually just going to use the um, one that was in here. Pop that back. It looks quite a contraption, doesn't it? But you don't need it to worry does. too much. It's, no. um, it's not scary. No, so what you'll do is there's a screw just on the side there and you'll undo the whole foot. So this is the applique foot that I want to use later. So I'm going to just move that out of the way and then pop this one on. It does say it comes with two different, um, I'm not sure what these stitch are called. Plates. Stitch plates. Yeah, a straight stitch plate and a, yeah. again, it will, the, the machine will know if yeah. you've got the wrong one on. Yeah. Um, Although having said that, um, I'm leaving this one on because I want to use it for yeah. the um, for the, uh, the plique. plique. I will show you. I think the main difference. So this is where this other one is hidden. 
Mm -hmm. The main difference is that there's um, just a hole there and that's where the straight stitch is. So you can either stitch to the left, straight stitch, in the middle, straight stitch, or to the right, straight stitch. What it won't allow you to do is your buttonhole. Yeah, and zigzag. zigzag. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's exactly right. And it, what I find is really good about those straight stitch needle plates is if you are doing chain piecing, if you're doing straight stitching, quarter of an inch of quilting, perfect for that because it will reduce it being dragged down into. Have you ever yes. had like a, a bird's nest on the back yes. of you and your fabric uh, dragged down? Because it's only got that little hole, it does a perfect quarter of an inch seam or a straight stitch beautifully. Um, I know that we've done machines that are just solely straight stitch machines. They're so popular. So to have the ability to do both is fantastic. Fantastic. But when you're doing, like you said, your free motion or your, um, your well, it doesn't matter with, so much with that. But if you're doing a plique alphabet, you'll need your other plate. Yes. On. So you can have the needles swing. Otherwise, you keep breaking your needles. Yeah. So. It knows, though, which one's on there. Yes. Yeah, which is great. So what um, the next thing, so I've changed my um, foot. And the next thing you do is there's a little lever around the side. Do you want me to move the... Um, no, it's fine. Yeah. So there's a little... It's got like a zigzag on it, yes. hasn't it, which are yeah. your feed dogs. So you just pull that lever. Yeah. So these are your feed dogs here. And normally your feed dogs will take your fabric through. Uh -huh. And if you drop them... Can you see? Yeah, we saw that really clearly. Okay, so now the feed dogs are down. Mm -hmm. So now it means that you're in control of where the fabric goes. Okay? So... Um, you can either draw something onto your fabric, um, and I found that is really helpful, and I'll show you on the leaves if we've got time. Um, and then you will just drop your lever at the back and breathe. Remember to breathe. And people say, oh, what length of stitch? Well, it's actually got a zero length of stitch. Because you're in control already. of the stitch You're length, in control. You? And those gloves are brilliant. Yeah, you know, quoting gloves yeah. are sold out today. Yeah. Um, so I normally do needle down and then you'll just move this around. So as I say, those gloves are really good. And the length of your stitch is determined by how quickly you pass your fabric. So there's no right or wrong, is it? Just about no. being consistent? It's being consistent and you can change the speed of the machine oh, good, to yeah. the um, speed that you want and then you can put your foot flat, flat down. down. And once you've got a bit more confidence, then you can um, but just play around with it. Um, so that's just a, a squiggle. Yeah. Um, but when I come to um, doing it on there, I will actually, I'll show you now whilst I've still got the foot on. Um, so for the leaves here, I'm just going to just, with my friction pen, just draw the vein of the leaf there. So my um, friction pen's not working. I've got another one here. That's better. And then some side ones there and there. And again, you can do that across the bottom. You can draw mm. it, and that's your guide. Don't worry about following it exactly because you'll iron it afterwards and that will disappear. Yeah, so, absolutely brilliant. So I'm just going to just move the thread again. And so do you have to? You do have to lower your foot, your yes. foot down. Yeah. yeah, and this one actually holds it very, very close to. Um, in fact, yeah. I bet that's the, the reason. Foot pressure. If you lift it yeah. up, will that hover slightly yes, more? Yes, because it was catching, wasn't it? So I'll move that because I had that changed for the applique stitch. I've moved it back to number five, um, and it does say foot pressure number five. Oh, okay, so, perfect. You know that's. You know, maybe why it wasn't sort of doing it so easily. Because it is just designed to glide over your fabric, yep. isn't it? That hovers like this. So the other thing that I tend to do is get my needle in the, the starting point, posh, pop it down, and that will, when you've finished doing your free motion, it will stay in the fabric, which I think is so much easier. 
as you saw with Cara, there are other ones as well that you can pop on, like with the target, yes. there's different um, yeah, feet that come, accessories that come with this as well, as standard. Yes. Oh, look, that's better. That's sort of gliding across yes, better definitely. now, isn't it, with the foot pressure at five. Plus, I've got, um, you know, the quilt sandwich there. Yeah. Okay. And cutting your thread, having the scissors yes. there to cut, especially with free motion, is great, isn't it? It really is, my goodness. So I went a bit off, but it will be fine, absolutely fine. But I love, that's the whole thing with free motion, actually, is that it's more of a doodled look, isn't it? It is. Shall I do another one? Yes. Have a go. And you can do swirls in his beard and yeah, his moustache. as much or as little as you yes. want. Yes. Would you do all of your, um, you would still need to go round with a blanket yes. stitch? Yeah. Yeah. I would possibly do all my free motion first mm -hmm. because you've changed the foot, you've got it all on there. Um, or I'd do all my um, blanket stitch, my applique stitch. So when that's down, just I'm going to hand crank that down until my starting point, then pop the needle right into the fabric and I know that I'm in the right position for starting. It's so clever. Can you do this on your machine at home? Yes. I hadn't, you know, for a while. And, um, you know, I've, I've got a darning foot. They call it a darning foot. It's not just a free motion yeah. um, foot. So you can see the brown there. So that's for your um, veins on the leaves and that's the back. Oh, hang on. If you just pull it down. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Charlie. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the applique if you want me to. Um, how long have we got? We've got a, about three minutes. Yeah. Um, Don't forget, just whilst you're changing over the foot, can I just remind everybody, the machine at the moment is on pre-order, but we've had it on pre-order for about a month. We've been saying mid-feb, it's going to be in stock. Um, just whilst it's on pre-order, we've never done anything like this before. As soon as they arrive in Elna's warehouse, which we were told is mid-feb, and we've actually been told today, any day now. We don't know when, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, we don't know when, but it's any day now. Whilst it is on pre-order, I have to make sure everyone's aware, you get £50 extra credit to spend at Sewing Street in March. So yes, you get the free motion foot. Yes, you get the walking foot. It's gonna be the same price. You get it on split pay, but the benefit of getting it today is you get 50 pound credit um, to spend here in March. And there's loads going on in March. It's the birthday and everything. So there's gonna be plenty of opportunities. I'm not sure what's going on, but we've just had an email or a message from Pat. Hi Pat, email from Genomia. My 680 will be delivered on the 17th. That's tomorrow. So you got that on pre-order? Has anyone else had a dispatch email? We haven't been told, this is what I mean, we don't know. Buy it today, buy it today. Get it, get it while you get 50 pound credit. To, you know, I could be here, I'm on tomorrow, so I could be saying, look, sorry, no 50 pound today. I don't know. Um, how exciting, Pat. Oh, that's an exciting bit of post tomorrow. You have to message me when you get it tomorrow because I'm on it, I'm on air as well. Um, so just if you've got any questions about it today, get them in. If we're off air, ask on the fan page. It's our flagship machine. So many people have this and it's on five split payments as well. Right, Cara. So we've changed our day, Pat. That's exciting. <laughs> so the main thing is to remember to put your feed dogs up. So your machine's back in control of um, moving the fabric. Then you go to your stitch, which is number 37, and I wanted 2.5. So I'm going to get, change the stitch width to 2.5, and the stitch length is 2.5. Needle down in the machine, and then... That's all you do. It's so relaxing as well when you're doing this. And you've got to remember, if you put your feed dogs back up as well, yeah. yeah. So you just remember to do the lever yes. as well to put the feed. I, I suppose it wouldn't, it doesn't let you do anything that you. I wouldn't think, I think it would allow you to do no. stitch number 37. That's true. And I changed the foot as well, so. So the only thing is, is when you come to the curve, you may want to just slow down slightly. 
But this is going through, so I've gone through, oh, I haven't changed that again. But this is going through the fabric, the wadding, and the cotton. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So, so I'm going brilliant. to stop when I get to the leaf. Thank you. Just so you know, uh, there are some bundles left on the right hand side. The book's completely sold out. If you want Bondi Web or the Applique Map, it, they're on the website. So there you go. So there's my first part on the oh stem. Nice. So it, it does work very, very easily and very quickly. Love it. And then you'll carry on doing all of that and then you'll make it into um, either with a zip or with an envelope back, um, you know. The cushion. Oh, we love it. Thank you so much for today, Cara. And thank you for sitting there with the manual Ooh. going through it all. <laughs> you didn't know that you were going to be doing that when you came no, in this I morning, didn't. did you? So thank you for offering <laughs> to do that. Um, we will see you when? When will um, we see you? March the 9th, I think. Oh, brilliant. 6th or 9th. Can't, no, 9th, I think. Fantastic. We'll be in the new building, I think. <gasps> Ooh, I don't know. Exciting, exciting. Might be the new building. You we'll make sure we let you know. Yeah, yeah we will. Please tell me. <laughs> um, right. We are now on the final countdown with the 680. I, I, uh, there are, uh, we're going to ask uh, in the break because this is crazy that Pat's had a, her email saying it's going to be dispatched tomorrow or it's going to be delivered. Has anyone else had a dispatched email? Please let us know. Um, it's just changed it though because we've just had another seven people put it in their basket. If you want it with the £50 credit, my advice is grab it today whilst you can. Five split payments, £249.80. I'll let you know tomorrow. I might be saying tomorrow it's here or I might not be. Um, I'm not quite sure. So I'm not sure why Pat, if Pat's the only person who's got that email. Kat's like looking at me very confused in the gallery. I, I, I'm wondering if she knows something I don't, but she's like, I promise you I don't know. Um, okay, tomorrow me and Kat are back. We have got Fiona Hesford. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, we've got Liberty Fabrics to start the show. Don't forget the early bird at 8 o'clock as well. 9 o'clock, brand new Fiona Hesford. So girl, bright and hat and quilted scarf. I've not seen her since Mason's been born. I've not seen her for so long. The fabrics that we got are amazing. Leopard print, they're amazing. Um, kits you'll love at 10 o'clock. A uh, bit of a recap on some of our favourite kits. 11 o'clock. Um, so girl, Maisie dress. What's this? Oh, this is exciting. We've had the Maisie hoodie, because she got me the Maisie hoodie for Christmas. Um, I haven't seen a Maisie dress, that's exciting. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, we've got sewing room tools. So full day of sewing street tomorrow. We're gonna probably put some of the tools that we didn't get through to today in that show. And if the 680 is in, of course, I'll talk to you about the 680. If it's on pre-order, I'll let you know. If it's still on pre-order, either way, we'll talk about that. Right, coming up. Look at these. I desperately want this cardigan. I love it. I'm going to have to learn to knit, aren't I? Um, some Sabidos coming up. Yarn Lane. If you are watching on the telly, stay exactly where you are. If you're watching online, tune over Yarn Lane TV on Facebook or on YouTube or on, of course, the website, yarnlane.com. Don't go anywhere. Same P&P. &P. Everything's on pre-order. Have a mooch. We're back with Sam after this. 